Last week, I attended Kick or Keep, which is Destiny the Streamer's game show where he invites a bunch of internet, high IQ, big brained geniuses on to debate various subjects. We debated various topics like AI artwork, if a minor who lies to an adult about their age should be punished, and uh, for the first time, I didn't win. I actually lost. But despite me losing, despite me failing, I still made sure to deliver some good content by the end, and uh, there's a little secret surprise for you guys at the end that I think you guys will enjoy. So, uh, yeah, enjoy. Oh, no, Turkey Tom's in this one? Shalom. What's up, guys? Glad to be here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get one out. Video on all of us. Oh, He's my God. Matrix. He's actually in the Matrix. I'm currently actually hacking. Matrix. I'm hacking. Well. <laughs> oh my god, is that the background for the what we what was that meme you talk about? Skadoodle toilet all the time? It's skibbity, skibbity toilet, toilet, man. Oh, freak. God, you're such a boomer. It's not skadoodle. You did send me a good meme though. I enjoy quite a bit. I know bit. I did. The yeah. whiplash. My one chat audit. I asked for the best zoomer meme they could, you know. Are you edging or are you rizzing? Edging? Oh I saw um, that one. Edging or gooning. That's a good one. Oh, edging or gooning, yeah. You edging or gooning. Edging or gooning. Edging. So you do edge in Ohio. If you deliberately end your mewing streak, I will riz you like Livy Dunn. Now, are you an edger? Or are you a gooner? Or are you going to phantom tax skibbity toilet? Wow. I'm definitely edging right now. Mm. Cool. Well, you, well said. How do you guys feel? Edging or gooning? What's your vote? What's the I'm difference? Gooning. What do you mean, what's the difference? There's a big difference, technical stuff. Yeah, like, what, opposite what things. Mean, uh, what do you mean, what's the difference? What do you mean, gooning or not? Thank you, They're very exactly different. One of them one of them has poop in it. One of them has poop in it. Wait, what are you doesn't. talking about? Wait, what? Wait, what? what? Okay. Which one has poop? Yeah, what? Oh, I thought we were still on gooning. My fault. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're, I thought you were. We're still on gooning and edging, Turkey Tom. Okay, bro. God. You guys are freaks. Oh my God! You're letting me up, up, up. Oh, here comes the terrorist with his signature okay. mask and glasses. Sticking at your yacht oh for the Rizzler. You're so skibbity. You're so phantom tax. I just wanna be your. I'm streaming once a week because of you. You know what I mean? Somebody supply uh, drop this some aloe vera. Bones. Was Karantos the last Guys, person? Guys, can we keep the N words to a minimum? I was here the whole time. I was here the whole time. <laughs> no, look, we that He's rule jealous. is only in jealous place for power. you, Vito. I know, but that's yourself. unfair. It's unfair if some people get to use the N word. Well, I, you, I, oh, yeah, I won't use it if people are streaming. I won't use it if people are streaming. I think you can say it, Vito. Just say it right now, dude. No, that's the worst I mean, that could Vito, happen. <laughs> Come on, Vito, why would you challenge we... Vito? He's like the one white guy on the show that will say it with impunity over and over again, okay? Please. We don't have Lab here today. The other record holder for N word set on this show. So, second place is Vito. Okay, so slow down. All right. Wait, I'm second place. Nice. No, wow. I, I, I think that every white person should just say it. Just let's just get it. <laughs> well, we do. I agree. Go Vito, you go. <laughs> I mean, we do say like it. We we'll don't say it in front of you guys. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll do Vito, then Destiny, then Destiny again, and then Vito. How about that? Oh. Yeah, let's we'll start with Destiny. Anyways, <laughs> let's lock it. Let's start the show. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 26 of Kick or Keep. Today, we brought together eight wonderful contestants that will not be going head to head because they will be in teams of two. Oh, what that's what it is. Oh my Ooh. god. Yeah. I didn't yeah. think game it. mode. Drop that on me. You know what I mean? New game mode. As you can see on the left, I changed your name. So we got team one. This is how, this is how we're going to introduce you. Okay, so I'm doing the introduction while I'm doing the intro. We got team one, which is Evil Fossil and Turkey Tom. Now, it was meant to be evil and vegan, but you know, I mean, vegan just, you know, you know what Team two is Sky and Technicals. Team three is Vito and Irrelevant. Oh, Last yeah. but not least, team four. <laughs> No, wait, hold on. It's no, Vito and. Yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was going to say, hey, yeah. fuck it up. You want a name change? <laughs> okay, relax. It's. I, I thought he was on dick, dick for a second. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. It's Vito and Dick. It's Vito and Dick. Wait, why would he be on <laughs> Dick to call him irrelevant? What? What does that mean, guys? <laughs> no, because I thought he was calling him irrelevant because I thought he was going to say Dick. No, it's irrelevant. irrelevant. <laughs> no. Yeah, I thought, I, thought, I, I, I thought that he just changed his name to irrelevant. I was like, holy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Okay. Yeah. Leave my last team, last team, irrelevant and Darius. Okay, now 
understand this. We're gonna do three rounds of forty minutes. Okay, Jeez. we're not doing but it. What? Yeah, yeah. Can, can, I'll, what tell you you? I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you why we're doing that because at the end of each round, we're eliminating an entire team. You know what I mean? Damn. So we're doing double the eliminations. You know what I'm oh, saying? That's why the rounds have to last longer. You know what I mean? Damn. So guess what? So guess what? If your teammate is a bum, you're gonna lose. So you you can't do the solo carries. You gotta get your teammate involved, okay? Or else you're gonna lose. And at the end of this show, because this is a special episode, me and Lil Steve, we had a discussion about this. The winner gets ten thousand dollars. What? <laughs> I'm assuming you're capping. You know what? Because I'm no. feeling generous. Because I'm feeling generous, I will say five hundred dollars to each person on the winning team. Okay. Oh! Wow. Okay. Ooh, That's nice. Good. Big I money. Got you plus five hundred, by the way. Okay. Gentlemen, I need you guys. I need you on this one. We know the drill. Oh we know I the drill. Okay. Believe it. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, there's not ten grand. Let me. Let me. Okay. Great. Okay. With all that being said, okay. The rules are very simple. Just don't talk over each other. That's it. I know N words. This. These videos do not get monetized on YouTube. I need to make some money on YouTube. Hard R or A, a. But, but can A? No, because some things Vito says is outrageous, and the only he way says I the E R. Was... He says the E R. Vito says the E R. That, no, I don't. No, I don't. You really... Fake news. Fake news. You, you're really trying to restrict you my vernacular, that. bro. You, people dubbed that clip after the fact. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I was an AI dub. AI, Everyone AI, AI never. AI the, ca the catch is that it was dubbed, but it was actually just Vito doing a voiceover of the. <laughs> I, I, myself. I said, I think I can say it with a little more energy. So I, I added to it. Listen, you could get away with one, like, you know, but don't say the ER like last time. That was crazy. Okay. Just don't do that. And we'd be good. In okay. what context right. did he say it? What was the context of that, Vito? Was I he just wrote the well, he asked me if there were any. I'm not going to do it. What? Of them in do the it. call, and you <laughs> were like, what? Group of people. That yeah, was my chance to say it again. He, I passed he asked, what is his least favorite ethnic group? And then he... Yeah. No, yeah. no, no. That was it. Actually true. Matter of fact, I love you, N-words. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every one of you. Okay. Jesus. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. <laughs> what? I love. Stop. Okay. Stop. Base. With all that being said, I'm your host, Carantos. Joining me is my co-host, Lil Steve. You want to say hi? Hello. There you go. Good job. <laughs> Question number one. We already did the intros. I already said your names. We don't have to do the intros right now, okay? Just in case somebody wants to interrupt me and laugh, okay? Question number one, what should I start with? I like this one. Should minors be criminally liable for lying about their age before a sexual encounter with an adult? What the f- <laughs> Whoa, is that ass? What the f- Like, could we just take a second and just hold on? Damn, it's supposed to be a nice, easy question. Like- I mean, no, okay, you know what? I'll start. Scott, I'll start. I'm sorry, Fuck Sky. It. This is Tom, Tom is a minor, so you, let, let Tom. I'm 14 Tom, years old, and I'm willing 14. to answer the question. Okay. Um, what? I'm I'm 14, bro. You you know this. After that one time, you remember? <laughs> that one time. It was only once, what? though. You should have asked for ID, no, Sky. No, no, I told no, you. No, stop. Don't say that should've one asked. time and be vague. That's what yeah, that Sky, question. What you, what well, I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying there wasn't a pattern of behavior. I'm 14 though. I'm actually. Oh, I just turned 14. Anyway, okay. Um. So the real, my real answer to this question, uh, and then I'll let my teammate Evil Fossil come in, is uh much in the way that we we punish uh, minors for when they commit a crime, but not to the same severity as we would punish an adult. I think there should be some kind of penalty. I don't know that it should be years in jail that would like ruin their life forever, but I think there should be some kind of re-education process maybe to uh inform them about how to uh, proceed going forward, not to lie in ways that can damage adults' reputations. I think that'd be an important thing. I don't think it should be like a lengthy jail time. I don't know exactly what the exact sentence should be, but I don't think it'd be, it can be repercussionless because then kids will just keep doing it forever, you know? Well, you want it to be a crime? No, no, hold yeah. on, hold on, time out, time out. That, What's that's the crime? Really, the crime is lying about your age to an adult and then you sex them and then they get penalized. So you no, get no, statutory no. and then you get forced to lie about your age by the adult that wants to send you to prison, right? That's not that what I said at all. Oh, here's the, no. Is that how it works let me, out in the let room? Let me chime right? in for my partner. Y'all coming at my partner mad hard. Let me chime in for my partner because maybe team two is going to be going. If, you're, if, you, if you lie, about your, if if you lie about your age to an adult, is it statutory? Well, I assume there's going to be a lie about your age. Uh, I think, I think it's so. I'm, lying oh, about your yeah, age. Cody Wilson got hit for this. For statutory I am, I am so completely confused as to why, like, 
How, how was how was the adult not like checking? That's crazy to me. Like, no, 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 no. Wait, the you, point is I the mean, adult. No the way, point. The point. No way. The point is the adult checked and then, but the kid had lied. I think we're in this situation. We're yeah. assuming there's like a fake ID. Yeah, like a fake yeah. ID. Or yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so so everything is in place to trick the adult. Is yes, the yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, okay. here's how I would handle it. Look, I'd say if a guy's being prosecuted for statutory, rape and he has evidence that says, look, they showed me a fake ID. Uh, I look at them and they got a big old beard or whatever else. I think then the judge can lessen the sentence and say, okay, well, you were misled. Uh, you know, it's not great. You still probably should have done your due diligence. But the question is but what I, happens you know, to the minor. You're wilding. You're wilding. I know the, I know the question is what happens to the You're child. wilding. How am I wilding? You, you, right, I because like you're, 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 you're acting the as, as if... a fake ID, you're not going to tell the guy, it's like, absolutely well, not it's reasonable. On her Bro, the idea of even having a fake ID is an adult problem. That's society's problem. Children are born into this, into our society that we build, and we give them the tools to be able to fake anything in the first place. What about and the you adults implying that, that whether or not statutorily though, the, you you just open it up for them too. Yes. You're opening it up for them too. Get the f out of here. As if them people were not capable of curating or finding them kids <laughs> who, who allowed them. Listen, Wait, just to be I clear. wanted to bring up a perfect example of this. And team two, Mo both of y'all might actually be um acquainted with who I'm gonna bring up. I'm gonna bring up a Captain Zach. Does that does that bring yes. any bells? <laughs> yes. Does that ring any bells for you, technicals I'm surprised and Scott? You know, Captain Zach. Um, yeah, I understand. It, Captain Zach it, is a it, perfect it, example for this it question. Rings bells. Let me just look left for a bit. Is this my yeah, sure YouTube too, kind huh? of deep lore? Because I swear every show. <laughs> Smash Bros. <laughs> community degeneracy. That's this what it is. Okay, all right. Smash Bros. This is a community case in degeneracy. Smash where a 15 year old went after adults and was also punished, but the adults were still punished in this situation. Yeah. Was but punished like banned from Smash Brothers <laughs> tournaments? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. No, I'm about okay it. with no, that legal Nah, actually, that's about it. I think the it. judge should ban children who participate in this uh, behavior. Should be banned from all Smash Brothers tournaments. I think that's nah, good. He's yeah. not playing anything. Else. I agree. I agree. Yeah. The whole point is children are not like. Why are you giving so they much? They can play Halo. What children are able to do? Like if if a child is actually just replicating what they see adults do, and then that re that results in a situation where an adult is being persecuted. How are you going to try to hold that child accountable? Okay. Just okay. Well, the question, like, the question, the question I have fossil since around my team, we appear to be slightly disagreeing, maybe a little bit. What do you think should happen? Ideally, just nothing. It's, it's not about that. Nothing. You have to smoke the whole pack. Up situation in the first place, but it's like we, we persecute and we. They should have to an adult. Yeah. If you, get caught, if you catch a kid smoking, they gotta smoke the whole pack. Bro, by <laughs> increasing the penalty to a child, you're not really doing anything to that child. That child is not gonna come out and be like, "Oh man, I just uh, been through like so much in hell as a child, so I'm gonna be become reformed." Like the point Wait, of. Of the justice system is to evil, evil, evil. Hold on one second. Scott, you want to read Sky, this? Go ahead. No, I, I, I think smoking the whole pack. I like that. You, you were no. yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, my, yeah. My team. That's a thread. I disagree with my teammate. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I actually, I, I actually have a response to the technicals because I love you, bro. But look, go ahead. Okay, so the only reason why this is not like there's no, there's cognitive dissonance with me is. Getting lied to by a minor seems the same as clicking on that phishing email link. Like, it feels like it's so obvious when it, if it ever does happen to you. Like, if you fall for it, there's got to be, like, some part of you that, like, was down for that. And I don't, I just, I don't like Wouldn't that, that be deliberated in the courts? Like, whether or not, like, if they gave them, like, the most Chuck E. Cheese ID you've ever seen in your entire life... That has a slanted picture. And it's like, <laughs> see, I'm 18. Like, yeah, yeah exactly. obviously, then they're gonna be like, all right, you the kid, and you knew you were a kid. Sky, but are you fun... trying to argue that teenagers are horny? Is that your argument? <laughs> I reject this that question. Why? I reject that question. But you're saying like, you know, she's out there trying to get, right? How sexy would they have to be for like how much? Oh, I oh like, if she's yeah, really I'm hot, you're like, I'm you're 18, I'm right? Right? Like that's good enough okay, for me. Okay, right. okay, okay, Sky. Yeah, I mean, you know. this, is, this is about uh, yeah. whether the without, child gets gets punished in this situation. Okay, okay. Without that's without without the cuties conversation, Tech, I'll ask you the question. Don't you think there should right. be some kind of um? 
I don't know, education program for that kid to learn, like, I, not to lie. Are you talking about a, you talking about a legal no, punishment? There's, there's, juvie punishment. there's juvie for less. There's juvie for less. Court mandated you can't have sex with adults, I, class. Okay, 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 <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I don't know stuff. exactly what it would look like. I don't think they should go to jail. I'm just you saying there should the be class. some process you, to tell them yeah. not to do that. I will teach the class, and I'll be a great teacher. Thank you. Because if they just get off with it, and it's just like, oh, okay, we're, we're going to punish the adult less, then, like, what's going to stop them from going and doing this again? They have to get off with it. Like, um, I mean, hopefully, if if they if 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 they lie and there's no repercussions, destiny, stop with the stop with the freak, bro. Fix your mic, whoever that is. Test one, one, two. Test, 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 test. Test, test. Yeah, I roll up and I think it's you. Don't cough into your mic again, please. All right, go ahead. Yeah, VW is VW is waiting for that opportunity, huh? Yeah. He said black people hit their kids and the kids end up not having. This Darius guy is just confused. He doesn't even know why he's here. It looks like he just woke up. He's zanned out. He doesn't. Even, he doesn't even know his name. When the last time you seen? When the last time you seen a white family with six, seven kids without them mentally cracking, blowing a f up, and shooting up a goddamn school? When the last time you seen? What are you that talking shit? about? <laughs> they ain't black kids, bro. They in communities. Bro. Are they with they people? I think most school they shooters are like are like only only children. Where did? When I like how the conversation <laughs> about yeah. IDing oh. children turned into a race war. Yeah, um, yeah, get, yeah. Stick, 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 stick to the topic. Stick to the topic, guys. Stick to the topic. Um, Let's not make I, this about race. Please. Wait, does anybody actually Vito disagree bros. with well, Turkey Tom's take? Like, actually, no, not actually. No, actually. Okay, because I think school yeah, is actually look, really a good hold thing. Some kind of legal punishment for somebody who is proven to have tried to lie and deceive somebody about their age uh, when it comes to having a sex with having sex with a minor i feel like well, some kind really, of punishment. Can I ask you a question? what punishment that is I that's think... up for debate but probably some kind of punishment. because you you would punish a minor if they like lied and then bought alcohol right you wouldn't just be like oh whatever they're a kid like you'd punish them right Here, here's the thing guys there, there are legal repercussions but you know you can have consequences for kids without dragging the law into it i don't need to drag but when we well, say the law when we say when we say the law we're not saying there should be necessarily some kind of like <laughs> yeah, i know you want to teach the court kids punishment a lot of it a lot of it should be like it should just be education for like the school department or something i don't know the administrator or just tell the parents hey your horned up 15 year old is trying to fuck a bunch of adults uh, lock it down this can be handled at home Locked yeah, but down? is it is it they the couldn't keep their kid they couldn't keep their kid from sure lying to an adult they couldn't keep their kid from lying to an adult they don't even know what's going on <laughs> on their phone how are we supposed to trust them to re-educate that kid they're probably gonna be I like oh the there's another guy has... down the street no the, the government has that's, that's problems the problem. that i don't need them trying to lock down horny 15 year old you don't even have kids you're probably infertile track. you're on ozempic okay shut the <laughs> you can't even have All kids. Right, you're basically ahead. a woman. Your estrogen's so high, and yet, and yet you have enough tests to have no hair on your head. And despite that, no, keep break out the thing about keep the That's the thing about the about the legal repercussions, right? Because all right, when someone you know there's manslaughter and then there's like premeditated murder, right? There's intent described behind a crime. The whole point is whether or not a child can actually be prescribed intent. And then, and do you really honestly think? That again, if children, as they do what they see and they do what they're around, fully understand or have the intent to lie just because an adult was stupid enough to, to get caught in it or get away with it. Like, how can you sit there and say because of the because of what you've seen and the problem that happened that the, the child actually had the intent to, well, um, to lie and convert <laughs> we would treat them as if they had full intention or motive to be able to do it. That's why they're being tried as a child and they're giving a lesser punishment. If we saw like somebody was intentionally trying to lie about like a situation or, and they were an adult, they would be treated much more harshly, harshly than somebody lying about their age who was a kid. Wouldn't it, like, wouldn't it be different if the person like, like depending on how far they went with the lie is how we would treat them. Like if they were just texting sure. and they were like, oh, I'm 18, then okay, you lied, you get tried as a kid. But if you have a full on like fake passport, fake ID that looks good and like, you're doing all these other things and you get like arrested well, for that well shit. I, I think that's also a separate oh, crime. No. That's like technically fraud, yeah. I think, yeah. It, so you'll be- like, the, you're getting into like some federal know. shit at that point. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think the point I mean, that's is, just the difference between a dumb a dumb kid and a smart kid, and like do, they should both I, be tried the same. Do like what what about like possible? Because it puts the it puts the onus on the adult, which is like what what should be the case, and they should yes. be verifying all that information. Well, the consequences they for should... the adult also matter, right? Like, did they did they yes. just flirt? 
Did they sex? Did they exchange images? Did they have sex in real life? Like all these things can play into how the adult is punished. Other layers. Nah, put them away. Put them away. The f they don't even talk. Nah, put them away. I think the what about like thirty-year-olds like, lying and saying they're like fourteen-year-old girls? That's an even bigger problem, right? <laughs> to to what? To sex? Let them off. Kids? They're yeah. fine. They'll hang out with Vito. Okay. <laughs> They'll go to high school with hey, him. I, like Chris Hansen, that guy really this, messed things this up. Beto, this Beto slander, this Beto slander, we got to just, all right, that's my boy. I want to say. You, uh, he's your boy? Five minutes ago, you were complaining. You must stop making jokes. No, he loves me. He loves me. Uh, oh, here's the problem. <laughs> Kids are getting a lot of, uh, this is why I can't hold any kid accountable for this kind of behavior, is like we, the way we teach kids about sex is totally f***ed up. Because we're like, oh, just don't tell them anything about sex and they'll figure it out on their own. And then they can learn how to choke each other. Like, kids are getting crazy mixed messages about sex. They're getting horned out of their minds. I see some of the kids <sighs> on, like, Tumblr, and I'm like, what are you doing uh, posting some of this? So, yeah. Yeah. Tumblr? Oh, yeah, man, just like all, or Tumblr, Twitter or whatever yeah. else. Uh, thank like, you for projecting, bro. That shit sound like your history, nigga. The second they turn 18, they're trying to everybody and the, obviously some of them are starting before then i don't even so, think that's true no, here, honestly i don't even no, think that's no. true i think you're projecting bro no you don't, I don't think, think these kids are trying He's to not. get fucked <laughs> <laughs> you know how many videos are like, coming out of people being virgins and people like being like 26 30 without even ever being in a relationship it don't matter if they sitting there in their brain talking about they want to everything ever Dude, honestly like, the the man, the man, like, like, wow. people the most inept people to get sexual all the horniest, craziest <laughs> on the internet that they, they be the ones posting crazy on the internet. The ones who actually be out Hold there don't be saying shit. like they the ones who socially aware just like say, yo, you wanna come down tonight? You wanna do this? You wanna do that? You wanna go to the bar? You wanna go out there? Um to okay, the party. Can I to the mall? Let me recent it real quick. Okay. Technical's got this back on track twice with very good questions. Okay, so resounding a little bit, okay. It, this idea that like the child doesn't know what they're doing or whatever. Nobody's talking about a child just lying and saying like, hey, I'm 20 years old. They're talking about a child going out of the way to get a fake ID to lie to somebody else to have sex. So I think Technicals was the one that brought up when children do this with fake IDs for alcohol purchases, don't they get in trouble for that? Why would it be different here? No, get that out of here. Because we giving them weight. Imagine, imagine a world where what? Turkey Tom's got a Snapchat filter right now aging him up to 30. What's the, what are we going to do in the world where that's possible? Where these kids is sitting there with age filters, and now you but on this video is, and look like they thirty. But this is and a different like thing. We pose a specific problem. We pose a specific it's hypothetical, and like you can say it's just giving them the technology. I mean, but technology is look, existent look, for not, for everybody. It's ever present. There's, there's but if a kid misuses so technology, they didn't know they didn't know how not to use it. Yes, it's out of the bag. Really, I am agreeing with you. Yes, oh, oh, I, I want to make a really we're, quick we're, distinction about what Destiny said. So Destiny. Uh, whether or not a kid misrepresents their age, let's say a kid goes into a liquor store and says, hey, I'm 14, sell me beer, and then buys the beer. That's still illegal, even though they didn't misrepresent their age, right? <laughs> Whereas if a 14-year-old goes to, you know, a 20-year-old and says, hey, I'm 14, let's have sex, it's not illegal for them to do that. Uh, it, you know. Wait, I don't know it, if it's that, illegal to lie. Wait, is it illegal, illegal to lie about your age? No, um, no. So the, the fake ID part is the illegal part. Yeah, we're ta they're talking about using a fake ID to induce someone else to a crime. Yeah, we are, we already. But I'm saying that no matter do. what, a minor obtaining liquor is illegal. But yes, it is but, not but illegal also, for a minor to have sex with an adult. Yeah, but that's what we're posing the question. For. Yeah, it's, like, like, that we're not saying, we're not saying that. The, but it's the it's illegal. It's clear. The question. Just refocusing the question. The question is not should it be illegal for a minor to have sex with an adult. The question is, should it be illegal for them to produce a false ID to induce right. the older person to f*** them? Because I mean, the assumption is, is that the right adult now. would never have had sex with a minor if they knew they were a minor, but because they thought they were an adult because of the fake ID, then they decided to do it, and then they're charged with a crime. You understand, Vito? Fake I ID can't... is dumb because you're missing the point that the only reason why you even have the fake ID, it's because they're circumventing the... It's the store that sold the liquor to the child that is coming under the most persecution it's not a child getting a fake id going in the store so we go after the child be like so if i'm a cop and i go in the store and i'll be like yo this child bought the I bought this liquor with the id and it's fake i'm not gonna be sitting there like now i gotta go do my research and read and find but the problem is the problem is, is some fake I'm ids will actually no, scan it, a store so they're they're they look and, and feel yeah, basically there's, real there's steps really to this really that are more illegal than just purchasing the alcohol i feel like if anything you should be litigating the fact that these fake ids are being like 
created in the first place. Yeah. We'll go after whoever Does this happen? Fake ideas. Where kids but, have fake yeah, ideas just, and are how people with them? Fake ideas. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think there's an epidemic of fake ideas <laughs> and fucking adults, guys. I <laughs> right. think that this hypothetical Man, is a kind of an edge case. I think it's more about just misrepresenting your age. You go to a party, you tell a guy you're 18. It's misrepresenting your age by any stretch. It's not just. Only oh, he can't so punish just that. Saying, y'all mad scared of kids lying to y'all and getting caught. I feel, I feel like you should punish bro. the fake ID. That's all I'm hearing right now, bro. The, the, you the can fake, punish the, the fake IDs, but the kids, it's kids, bro. I I, like, I don't understand this. I'm going to be 100% with you, Fossil, bro. bro. Stop talking. You're done. Hey, Fossil, I'm going to be 100% with you, bro. It's honest to God because you don't get bro and i'm on tinder all the time dude i've seen multiple girls unfortunately that I got their snapchats been talking to them and then they sent me a picture in a high school bathroom if i use if i use your logic and i if i use your logic and i went out in person irl the problem would still stand where people are using fake ids i've on I've, okay i'm in Texas. i moved to text austin texas where that starship mothership uh comedy show thing is there's a bar right across it i went there and i used a picture a picture to get into the bar and I, when i looked around i swear to god i swear to god dude there's a ton of 16 year olds in these austin texas bars don't know why the fuck it is i i i didn't obviously i didn't hit on them but like i was horny that day and i wanted to talk to the girls around me but unfortunately i didn't know what the age was of anybody around me so i kept my peace so the real problem is you didn't get to the big problem is that i don't get the because of underage people go no, the problem is you aiming as young as you could go and you spook. 16. I ain't never, it's never, it's never getting caught. I ain't never getting caught, bro. Two to three. I ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't never getting caught was the craziest thing. I ain't never getting caught. What the fuck you mean? Whole, you're bugging. Sky, don't even start with your mentions, bro. Don't oh, even start. I was trying to you were bugging. I'm never getting the whole premise of this oh, conversation right, was right. getting caught as if I'm well, on you the just, other end you of, just admitted of, of, of people with infinite amount of data and and, and do a fake IDs and and, and, and a big lying about I, that I, I, and I, 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 evil fossil. I was only trying to say, I'm, I'm only trying to say that when you say I ain't never getting caught. That's why I say never get caught lacking. Uh, not, you ain't yeah. a real like me. Okay, he's, he's saying it's not getting caught lacking. I get what you're trying to say, Paul. So okay, I get you, okay. But like, would you ever say, like, I'm never working. gonna get caught sucking dick? Would that be a, would that be yeah, something yeah, that anyone yeah, would ever yeah, say? That would be <laughs> terrible right, right. Can, do we all agree that you should at least litigate, like, fake IDs? Yes. I, yes. I, but, 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 like, how are you gonna do? I, wait, wait, okay. I'm, gonna go I'm right against now. IDs. Why you, should we, why should we trust this system of having IDs? Why does the government need to track you? It puts like this idea that it puts this idea of um, that you're guaranteed to be this age out on the people. I don't like it at all. I don't think we should rely on it. What? Well, we need some oh, way to check. Uh, I think I think I think it's I think it's fine yeah. for stores to do it. I don't think you should have people relying on it. Like if I don't, I'm never gonna like ha I'm not gonna buy an ID verification thing. So whenever I invite a girl over from Tinder, I can just like swipe their card at my door to make sure they're at 18 plus. It's a point. No, the dick makes an ID is a contract with the government. It's not a contract with other people. If someone shows you their ID. Uh, you should very much be like, well, that's a piece of evidence I can use to try to deduce your age, but uh, I'm not selling you liquor and I'm not selling you uh, car insurance. So, so maybe that's, I'll okay, well then, well, well, well then the question, wait, Vito, Vito, the question becomes, age? the question becomes, can you have sex with anyone ever then? Because if you can never trust their ID, yeah. you just don't, yeah, you just never. Like, what do you, uh, you have, no, what you should, I'm well, gonna that's, again, she had big tits, I, I bro. Know. She couldn't be 16. It's like that. The I'm saying they're out there. There were some, that's well, a wait, good wait, argument, man. Yeah. Vito, what do we, what do we do then? What, what is the? Wait, why didn't you? Yeah, what's the alternative? Yeah, what, nobody talk about Josh. Kate? Snapchat. Don't go to bars with fifteen-year-olds. I mean, I don't know, man. Everyone, like, I, I want to have some drinks and before, they before they I go see no, the Wiggles. Then they if get it easier. No, if there's no ID, I'm <laughs> good asking. One, Dick. What is? What? I like it. For their age, fifteen-year-olds are going to be in like. Did nobody ask them what if they like stickers? And if the answer is yes, don't have okay, sex regarded. Dude, what 16? Okay, did anyone talk about Josh Giddy? Like I don't know if you know what the that's dating scene is like now, are, but there are a lot of adult girls that like <laughs> stickers and Hello Kitty, so you just are can't, you can't, you can't tell. Being all the women I'm you right, fuck, right, right, right. I just f adults, so I've you don't across this problem. You f guys. Finally, I can agree I with Vito. Nobody believed that. Finally, I just don't have, like, I've never been in a situation, again, I'm a 35-year-old man, I'm I'm having sex with other 35-year-old women. Men. Like, there's no chance of them, to and men, That's and just there's men. no chance Can you say I'm gay? Them. Can you say I'm fat and gay? Sorry. Yeah. Oh, I'm gay, and it, I am fat. Can you say it the other way? I feel, 
I'm fat and gay? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good work, Turkey Tom. Good work, Turkey Tom. Thank you. Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody... Man, I'm having sex with other fat gay men, and at no point have I looked at any of them and been like, hey, that's, uh, it probably might be underage. Like, you're an adult. I can understand if you're in your 20s, like, maybe you're going to be hitting the we line. We all are. That's the problem. You're a little problem. more worried. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. most yeah. of us are in our 25 20s. and fat and gay. Yeah, True. like, most people are going to be dating and having sex probably in their uh, mid, early, and late 20s. They're definitely going to run into people who are probably in their early 20s, maybe potentially late teens. How are they supposed to verify their age? Like, well, Vita, like, I, I understand you're just saying like, lose <coughs> judgment, which I don't think yep. is entirely... Rely like, more worst. on judgment, than Yeah, it's I, even, I don't, I don't, a part of it. I don't, it's, I don't look, I'm not in my 20s. Bad. Are all the 20-year-olds carding each other now? Is that a no, thing? No, no, no they, they do this, like... Carded a girl. No one's carding the, anyone. Actually, so then what's actually... the point of the idea if no you one... Want, you know what, Vito? I actually have, I actually have carded a girl, yeah. Yeah. You carded a girl, okay. Yeah. So well, it does happen on a case of Right? Yeah, yeah like, and also he's a normal. so he's a YouTuber, so he attracts yeah, like a bunch of like exactly. exactly. Yeah. You have to. About it like it's the most common thing well, obviously, Vito, you know, we're niche micro celebrity influencers, so obviously we're asking the question kind of from that yeah, perspective. Yeah, but that's okay. Sure. Yeah, you should be carding people if you have you know I don't know if you're somebody who could be. You just don't know. You're right. Or... Say I don't know again because you well, just don't know. I mean, I mean you just I'm don't know. Fucking, do you? I don't know. I'm you not. Just I'm don't know. In my own what do you know? What do you know? Are you fucking anyone? No. I have never needed to card a girl. If you guys are, but is this going to stop great. it? Is this going to stop a, uh, an underage uh, girl from getting? Because like, does nah, it stop? Someone... Does it stop liquor what sales? No, I, 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 don't, I don't. I don't think so, bro. It's does like... it stop underage uh, smoking? I smoked like underage. Just don't got nothing to do with you, bro. Some kind of barrier. It can't just be like, Sorry. oh, it's the Wild there's West. Nothing, nothing like, gonna, people get through. The law isn't stopping anything. Even, What's the point of the law? Even no, if there is a law. Made a good, I, I, but the thing about it is, like, if you take, like, age 15 to, like, 22 or, like, 15 to, like, 25, those people in that group, like, if you're vetting between there, that's where this whole conundrum comes up, right? Like, it doesn't necessarily come up for <clears> any <throat> other age group, really, if you're not, like, again, 40, aiming for, like, 18-year-olds, and that's all the you ever look at if that's not the case then there's only really a problem for like early 20 year old people yeah, right like, so that's, that's, that's that's not like, I'm, I'm 27 a and, a, and a girl like three months ago from a, a specific community that i interact with a lot she messaged me she was like flirt me she was like oh you want to meet up to us blah, blah 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 and then i already flirted with her or whatever and at the end i was like wait how old are you and then she said she was 17 so it, i'm like i'm no, 27 it, it doesn't matter a lot of and that's, in your community range for his tinder uh, age at like 20 that's the reason why i'm talking to this girl on dude, and, and up, i thought bro. she was of age and then she's dude you it's like it's like snapchat like instagram on, tinder sounds like you're on club penguin all right. Okay, let me again. Let me do a slight, a slight refocus. A slight refocus. Okay. So I think that the reason why this particular crime is different than all the others is because uh, statutory is a strict liability offense. Okay. That means that you don't have to prove any like criminal state of mind when you're convicting somebody. That means that if you somebody and they happen to be a minor, boom, you're doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you knew it, if you didn't know it, whatever, whatever. Right. Now this type of thing doesn't exist for say if you serve an alcohol if you serve alcohol to a minor so let's say that a minor shows up to a store they give you a fake id and then you sell them alcohol as long i think the state's obligation generally this is my very safe state in florida at least i think if you ask them for the id then you're safe as long as the id looks real but that same protection doesn't exist for uh, an older person that but younger person or whatever so the the question is should this type of inducement to commit this strict liability <coughs> offense should there be any responsibility on the minor here because the person that you're tricking has absolutely no defense in court if they get so so just to give an That's example of something like this that i saw that happened uh i think it was in florida i believe the age of consent there is 16 um and there's a case where a 19 year old guy had met a girl who he thought was 17 uh online they weren't influencers or whatever they were just normal people uh he meets up with her apparently they had sex with the park and only after the fact he found out she was 14 he's now a registered sex offender when he thought he was having sex with a 17 year old who i assume all you guys would say a 19 year old 17 year old who cares right but because yeah. she because she was actually under the age of consent by two years he is now registered sex offender as a 19 year old and has to inform people in his community that he's a sex offender when he thought he was having sex with someone who was of age and like within reasonable age for him to have sex with like there was no problem with that in does, his it, mind. Does, does it does anybody know what happened to josh giddy isn't he like the most recent person that had was like i think like 19 and the girl's like 16 17. and i think they literally she didn't, she i, I think some charges, that's that's all, recent, right? yeah she didn't charges, but, it, it, but she couldn't per, didn't her family want to do something about it though no, wasn't her like she lied she lied about her age that's why 
She, so, <laughs> so wait, so if she lied about her age, then it's just up to the person if they want to pursue charges or not, then? It's like, because like, here's, I, I've been, like, uh, that's I, a, I is, is don't it, know how that works. Because if that's the case, then I think most people that have lied and have confirmed they lied, they wouldn't pursue charges, just because that would be like probably a well, nightmare to On the internet, with. when you hear cases like this, and you hear that the other person lied about their age, instantly you're like, oh, wow, that's kind of <sighs> fucked up. But there's no like legal precedent for that person to fight for themselves in court if they do press charges, which is what I no, think we're kind of talking. There about. isn't. Yeah. Also, we're, hold on. Just as a, this is a little bit of a misnomer. I, I could be wrong, but there, I don't think there actually is a thing as press charges. That, there, that's like not a real thing. If the police catch you doing something illegal and it's a criminal act, they yeah. will prosecute you for it if they have evidence for it. Now, you right. as an individual might call the police and report <laughs> a crime. So in a way, or the cops might ask you like informally, do you want to press charges? Meaning, are you willing to be a witness to this particular thing? If we go to court and you say no, well, they have no witnesses. You can't really like press charges as a civilian. It's a criminal matter and it's up to the courts and the DA to do that. Wait, you, you know, it's a shame like, there's so no women. Yeah, that's that, uh, wait, wait, yeah, wait, that, that's, that's that cancel culture yeah, brain. Destiny, you you can't, he's you absolutely can't, right. You can't chase after, like, let's say you're the victim of someone lying about their age. You can't like, you can't get them. So to speak. No, like, no, no, no. You're saying for a minor to lie to you about their age. That's just not a crime. Yeah, it's not a crime. It's, it's, I mean, yeah, with, with, with the question would be about whether or not it could be a crime, right? If it's a like, crime like that, you're just going to get prosecuted. It's whether like you're actually going to be like a witness in the case of what he's saying. Like you don't have to press charges, <coughs> quote unquote. If they can right. prove that you've done that, then you could be prosecuted. Should you be sure, able to sure, civilly sure. sue a minor in court? For ruining your reputation and uh, yeah, like a they, you should be especially if they don't put out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think yeah, if there was women on this panel, you. they would all have done this, and none of them would let you send them to jail for it. Or hey, take wouldn't, any it, would it wouldn't it? Hey, wouldn't all it, of it, them have done this. Speak what, on wouldn't it. it be defamation? Like if they're saying like you, I, this person that's, me. That's what, what, yeah, yeah. maybe the real maybe the real problem. Considering this is all an all male panel, maybe we can all come together to agree the real problem is women. Maybe? Um, actually, you. I don't think that's, you. Oh. that's insanely misogynistic. Oh, uh, how old are you? How, how old are you, by the way? How old are you, by the way? Uh, I'm 17 next week. Literally. <laughs> You're going to trick me out. <laughs> oh, that freaked me out. I thought, who the f joined the Dude, I was so confused. Was so <laughs> my fault. All right, here's my question. Should a judge be allowed to consider evidence that a minor uh, lied about their age during sentencing? Yes. So you got a guy in front of you, he's accused of statutory I think they already do. Okay. But we're all okay with that. Yes. Are you okay with somebody getting a lesser sentence that they have text messages showing she said she was of age, I was misled? Yes. We think that's reasonable. I'm fine. Yes. They were just uh, the sex offender. No, that's what I think. No, so. bro. Uh, I don't know. Technically, I, I, I mean, if they are, are we talking about the actual case? sex? I'm interested in the think... fossil. Fossil seems to be saying like he's on the edge on that. Well, well, we already discussed this. If <laughs> okay, you like, you, as someone like you who only <laughs> date or want to with women at least like three to four years in my range, I just never see that that will happen. So it's like, if I'm lied to, and then all of a sudden, like what the-, the Okay, the so, so Fossil, Fossil, how, Fossil, how, how old are you? How old are you? 551. Okay, I'm 21. Three or four years of my age is four years younger than me. They could be in high school. But it's, yes. They could be nah, in you're, high school. You're right. Nah, that's, but that's why I brought up what Relly said before is that it actually is, but it, it seems more nuanced, right? Like how much of a population really are you? Like, it seems like- I mean, there's a lot, there's a decent amount of 21 year olds. We need to, to discuss this. Yeah, but the, but it's still, it's still, it, it's the not a lot. The vast majority of people who are going to be dating and having sex are going to be in that age range. Yeah, so it, people are the horniest when they're 20, young. Nah, and, and that's when you're going to make- 15, you don't days. think 15 to 20 yeah, year olds, correct. are you kidding? You're gonna, you're gonna, I you're do gonna be think very, so, very, but like I'm, quick to judgment. You're gonna be very just like. What I'm saying is that the law, like right now, y'all bringing in like y'all bringing in like the law is objective, bro. Like it's supposed to be objective as possible. No, like not. the law was for no. everyone. So no, it's it's there's a not? judge. It's a no, it's it's but what we're talking about, if you're saying something like, "Oh, most people like 15 and 20 are gonna be," and that's a social. That's a social thing. Like that depends yeah, on what part of society are you on. Yes, yeah, it is. It's That's what I'm saying. It is a problem. Thing. What does that have to do with the question at hand? The, the question at hand is in regards to the consequences, which you seem unable to answer. And I'm embarrassed because you're my teammate. I feel like you should be able to answer clearly your no. reasoning behind this. My reason uh, we got behind. a team divorce coming up. Karantos, did they have the option to do that? Yeah, like it's a relationship. It's so bro. hard to make work. <laughs> 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 a team divorce.
All right, can you rephrase the question one more time? Okay. Just so I could be 100% okay. clear. Okay, okay. So the question is, why do you not think that there should be a lesser sentence? Or why do you not think there should be some kind of punishment for the minor if they lie about their age? Because the point, the whole point of this hypothetical is that the adult thought they were doing something legal and it turned out they were doing something illegal. And the point is that they were given every reason to think they were not doing something against the law, right? Why do you, why do you not see like and, there's a And we're going to 100% understand that the, the sexual action actually went down. Like sexual action went down. Um, so they, they had sex. Let's, let's give you a hypothetical. Bro, let's, wait, 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 wait. Shut up, shut up. Let's give a hypothetical. Shit. Let's give a hypothetical. It matters. Wait, no, let me talk. Let's give, okay, first I'll give you the example. Let's say they don't have sex. Let's say they sexted, no nudes were sent. No. No, I think no. The, the the female. I mean, not the female. My bad. I'm being sexist. Um. No, 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 yeah, I think no, no. the child. There should be repercussions. I agreed with you from the beginning that there should be schooling or there should be something something that we have in place that we don't have now. Okay. Where they should be taught the repercussions or like the fact that they do have intent and they lied and that they should okay. be. Okay. So so let's take it. Let's take it one step further. Well, let's say. Real let's quick, say. Wait, right before Turkey. Wait, wait. Right before Turkey takes it one step further because he's about to hold that thought, Turkey. We are at the bottom of round one. You're gay. Make oh, sure you guys oh vote. What do you, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean you need to teach people what's wrong or right? Dude? Don't you like, need to learn things? Y'all keep conflating. Y'all keep conflating. Like there's a double standard. You need to go through. There's two things going on here. Y'all, y'all also saying that the 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 um young one who lied should have consequences, but y'all also saying that on the side of that because they have having consequences that the person who offended should be left have lesser sentence because they were lied to or manipulated. But it's not even just like lying. As an adult, I do not think that if you get caught in this situation. It's not even just lying though. They're going through like three different hoops. They're they're lying. Yeah. They're going to a yeah. bar underage. I mean, they're messaging up on the Should be because you're getting to a no, 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 question. No. This is what this is corny because if you if you had like some underprivileged third world country child trying to lie, like some <laughs> Ethiopian child that's a scammer and learn how to I mean, do a scam trick. Right. Yeah. How about, how about versus this? Versus this? child. No, this is some bullshit. Awesome, hold on, awesome. No, I want to hear about Ethiopia. Go yeah, on. yeah, Ethiopia. <laughs> catching strays. I want to know. Y'all keep attributing like this kind of moral standard to a child who has a whole bunch of autonomy that could have been given to them from birthright. Like they could just have a whole lot of access. They could have people who already given them IDs and already showing them them things. Like, look, listen. No, let me give you a hypothetical. Can I give you a hypothetical? And this is something that everybody can engage in because it sounds like it's kind of getting to this point anyway. Actually, unfortunately, irrelevant. I'm so sorry about the hypothetical. Unfortunately, irrelevant. That hypothetical, because the round was over, that hypothetical is never going to be heard. By Sky Williams and Technicals, because that is the team that has been oh. voted off. I am so sorry. Oh, no. Hey, I'm always going to save you. I'm not going to lie. I thought the girl I, voice would actually That's why I pulled like, it out. That's why I pulled it out. I, I, I thought that was the carry right there. Yeah. All right, and the refocus. It's probably me, honestly. Technicals, you carry. You went no, in. Scott, you got the energy. I thought you're never going to catch me was going to uh, get him knocked <laughs> out, but I guess not. <laughs> No, I, 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 I thought, like, I'll never get caught. I was like, oh, he's caught. <laughs> Wait. This Wait. Is, uh, this is you forgot what okay. community you were uh, appealing to here, so, yeah. Right. Anyway. True. <laughs> All right, thanks I for having me. Caught. It was fun. All right, you Thank you for coming on, Scott. Can I ask my hypothetical, though? Yeah, I know we it. want to move on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go so on, go ahead. let's yeah. say somebody, because I personally, right, at 17, I had gray hairs. I still have gray hairs, right? So me at 17, right? Let's with my gray hairs, six foot tall. Let's say I meet somebody, a, a, a woman who's like 25 or something like that. And we have <laughs> sex. I should, I produce her a fake ID. I produce her like a, a passport, all this. Like I go through and I have the goddamn, like I could be served 50 years in prison. How many fake documents I have, right? Fake birth certificate and everything. And then she has sex with me. Should she face any time at all? No. Come on. No, we're going to protect 17-year-old boys from okay, fucking 28-year-old so so women? No. So we disagree but, with the idea that, uh, I forget what the word Destiny said earlier about strict uh, liability. Strict liability. That the statutory should not be a strict liability. It should be as a result of the reasonable 
uh, assumptions that somebody can make based off the information they're given when they have sex with another person. So we all agree with that, yes or no? I yeah. think that's very reasonable. Yes. I think that's very reasonable too, yeah, right. uh, just to be clear. But it sounds like Evil Fossil disagrees because you, no, keep, because... you kept saying over and over again, like, dude, you're 100% on the spot. Do you agree that if I produce a sufficient amount of like fake documentation, like I genuinely look <laughs> like I could be in my early 20s and I can prove this in a court that I should face any or this hypothetical other woman should face any jail time or legal Let's say I want to fuck a 5,000 year old. Okay, okay, okay shut never. up. Vito, <laughs> Vito, you <laughs> fat. We have you. Stop, I want to hear the guy's stop. question, okay? This I want to give the guy's answer. This is, Evil fossil. Schizo connection. Please engage my hypothetical now because I just finished reading about a case where a dude beat up a trans woman, trans dude, um, because in, in his words in court, he said, I felt violated because I had my dick sucked by a dude, right? Mm. And then what happened was he got off. Why? Because they looked at the history of the dude that he killed. Um, the, the dude, I mean, um, and he had sex offenders where he had sexual assault. The person who got off um, defense. I feel like this isn't like the, the same. I feel attorney. like this is completely what? different. It's, it's, no, because uh, one, the crime is so egregious on the on the younger person's end, or like I'm trying to like extrapolate to the the um the the my my bad. I think I think I understand where you're going from with this. See where I'm going, right? The you, crime you, is you so egregious that there should be a punishment for somebody who performs that action, even if they're yeah, like once you have all those you yeah you going to jail as a 17 year old with all those <laughs> documents for like forgery, bro, and like being doing something that not even adults could do. Like, you're going to jail for something that 99% of the populace right, can't even engage with. So, like, like, why would do we have a second and change the rules for you know, you know, no, no, hold on, hold on. Vito's had enough kid before, fuck. Before, oh, before, my God. Yeah, yeah. yeah Vito's got a hippie. He knows the question, too, is when do white people say the N-word? So he wants to get to that topic. I'm just kidding. Just real quick, this is a quick... No, no, wait. As a quick insertion, the reason why it's considered a strict liability offense is because in society, we've decided that minors is a bad thing, a very bad thing, and also that you don't want every single person that a minor to go to court and be like, well, I really thought she was 18. And then every single case becomes that you've got to prove the fact that this guy knew that this person was underage, which is a really hard thing to do. And that's why it's a strict liability crime. Just as a heads up, okay? Well, could could you not make special? Because we're Doesn't talking matter. about- No, stop about... milking it. New no, topic. stop. Irrelevant, stop, stop. <clears throat> yeah. But actually, before, before even, this real quick, before we move on to the next topic, I just uh -oh. want to highlight the fact that we just spent like an hour pretty much talking about the hypothetical of a girl that's underage tricking a guy that's older. We never even tried to think about it the other way around. Wait, and I did. What... My hypothetical was I was a 17-year-old. <laughs> okay, 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 Listen, listen I saw that, listen, that too. Listen. I put that out there, bro. No, I'm, 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 I'm just saying, I'm just saying, uh, like, I've seen plenty of cases around, too, where women, and I don't know why, it's like, a teacher had a train ran on her by a bunch of 14-year-olds, whatever, and everybody in the comments is like, Damn, what were those teachers when I was? Yeah, those up? boys are heroes. The... That's a totally different. <laughs> see, see, yeah. see, but that's no, no, but that's no, crazy. No, that's no crazy. I, I, as long I as the teacher no was way. hot. So okay, so you guys are cool with like hot girls being? Just want to get that. Oh, no, no. Just... no, 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 no. The boys but, are heroes. Yeah. The woman is a criminal. Well, <laughs> so I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Put her in when... jail. Like Maybe woman can get away. No, woman it's get it's different because like if you got a teenage girl, you can older men who are and men are all predatory can f up her entire life knock her up brainwash her keep her in a pumpkin shell and keep Bro, her very what? well older women you can't really you can't really f up a, a 17 year old uh guy's life the same way you can f up a 17 year old are girl's life serious? it's different it's different of course it's about, you can't have a yeah, kid a as a guy yeah, of course it's, different. Little, it's you, still you, predatory but it's very do you know how it's badly very that could fuck up a dude that nah do you know it's, it's very different, different. different. Bro. I, nah, they're so, not the same you, boys you, and girls are not the same thing you don't got no experience there emotionally do you know how much damage it could do to a teenage dude if you fucking the girl has that too but there's also a physical element to the girls it's way worse. It's way worse. Yo, you're bugging, bro. It's way worse. 
it's predatory, it, but it's, it's way bad. worse. No, Cheyenne, no. It, 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 that dude up, that. man. Yeah, you think, dads, so hey, you think dads are sitting there, boys down, saying, now, son, you got to really be careful for these 28-year-old women that want to suck your <laughs> dick every day. On. That's not happening, you idiot. That's happening to That's teenage not, girls. Man, Wait, hold on. God damn it. Let me let me let me. Real quick, oh, I, mean, okay. I have to, I have to, because I got, I've got to do the as a father thing, okay? Jesus, Take barely, a barely as a father, okay? But as a father, nonetheless, okay? Um, listen, okay? The idea, pa children look at parents or children look at teachers or adults as like authority figures that they have this implicit trust in. The idea that as cool and as awesome as it seems, and I feel that, okay, I'm a big boomer. The idea of I'm 14 years old being <laughs> by my amazingly hot female teachers sounds like a cool idea as an adult. But when you're a kid, I imagine like a your mind up in so many different ways like if it's a teacher and now you've got to go to them because you've got trouble on the playground or if some drama happens or if you're getting bad grades like even for a boy i think they can f your head up really hardcore no i think just the point is that it's just easier to victimize young women than young i think young boys are more prepared to hopefully get out of that situation <laughs> And a teacher, yeah, it's You're... the relationship, it's how? the trauma. I don't, I don't. Yeah, how? Well, true, and actually, 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 it's actually, it's actually, 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 that so was an actually, Adam yeah, Sandler movie. Yep. It actually yeah. happened. Yes, legally too, he had to pay. One hundred percent. What? <laughs> I heard about, but is that is that true that he actually wait, had wait, to pay? Yep. Wait, let's I, wait, uh, real quick. I, theoretically, I, 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 I was in a I recent situation. I was in a recent situation. I actually want this clarification. I bought. So I had sex with this woman unprotectedly, and I bought her a Plan B afterwards. She said verbatim, "I took the Plan B. I took it, Darius. I took the Plan B for you." Click, 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 click. So, and then I was like, "Okay, you did it." And then later on in life, she says, "Oh, I had to get an abortion for our kid. If she would have had that kid, would I have to pay a child support? Even though she, yeah, yeah, even though, course, even though she great. told me that she had a, yeah. she, she yeah. took the Plan yeah. B. You better go make yeah. sure she yeah. took that, Darius." <laughs> In a real, in a real, in a real, in a real, in a milkshake without her knowing. Darius, Darius, the real question is why didn't you, 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 you just, why didn't, why didn't you just pull, pull out? Down the stairs just to be sure. Oh, why, didn't you why didn't you not just pull out? Darius, Darius, seriously? It's romantic, it's romantic to come in somebody. It's like nice. It's a good feeling. But you're not, but you're not having, you're not, you're not having romance. You're just here. So. Who cares? I mean, that's so true, bro. I, I'm my mama. I didn't think about it at the time, though. I was just like, I was like, uh, I watched a lot of, uh, you know, I think, I think, I think doing, I think doing it on her face is pretty I romantic. I watched a lot of fruits baskets. Nah, nah. Had to knock I watched a lot of fruits. It's, it's like romantic, man. It's like a isekai uh, okay. anime, man. It's like girls also, like that. Stop, that. stop watching anime. anime. I never watched no anime. At the, the abortion uh, would be romantic if it happened, but I mean, like, regardless, either way, I didn't think it was gonna happen. Did it not happen? I'm just saying. I'm going on Snapchat and talking to 15 year olds about fruit spam. I'm just, I, I'm just Get saying on, that. Grow up. Stop this. It's not, it's not a grow like, up situation. Why are all these children messaging me and then you're like, right, I watched dude. an isekai about it. Come on. I like, so, uh, I like fruit spam. That's what you know, Darius. You're a piece of shit for bringing this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 no, I'm no, doing. No. I'm doing the show. Do like you, like you know, we have a new question or something? I did to myself. I did to myself. I did to myself. I got to go. I got to go. Punish yourself. Self harm. Stop. Drink yourself into staying quiet for a relevant sake, Darius. You know what I mean? Because I don't know what Gal is talking about. Well, he just got. Carantos, is there a new question? You're a liar. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Abortion is satanic, okay? RFP to the <laughs> Okay, uh, moving on, moving on. <laughs> Keep in mind that Karantos is a little bit loaded there. Do Muslims believe in Satan? He doesn't believe in abortion because they lose other children. I thought he was broke. <laughs> Listen, the earlier they come, the better. Pause! Okay, anyway. Gee, wait, yo, wait. <laughs> I'll mute everybody. I'll mute everyone. Stop talking. Can we move on? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, nice question. 
fun question. I feel like did anyone here play Rust? We're not talking about Power World. We're talking about Power World. We're not talking about Power World. What's wrong with Power World? What's wrong with Power World? All right, you know what? So I think I know where this question came from because one of Destiny's females message me asking for topics to me. and i told her that we should talk about ai art and somehow it got to pal world so i think the real question Kelly, should be is, you? is ai art ethical no that's another question no. that that's a much better question okay, you know, I want to get with hold on, hold on. Stop, no, for the future, bro. Here's, let's here's go, a good question. What, you know, what, Are you know, the what? existing child support laws fair? Why is Turkey Tom given the script before? I know I'm triggered. Why is he given the questions before he's even on the show? And I then two. The so, yeah, I'm on the show right now. I, 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 I think games like Power World, Rust are all boring, and you have to force yourself to like them. They're good time sinks because you could just sit there and do nothing for hours. But I'd rather play Cookie Clicker, um, something, some like weird autistic game where I could just kind of like make a little. Right. Answering the question, you're autistic really? and you're not having a social experience. Evil, so you dude, you have Funko Pops in your room and you're calling me autistic. Kill yourself, Damn dude. Like, don't talk. Like, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Do all the 15 year olds on Snapchat like to talk about Pal World, or no, they talk about Funko Pops. Clearly. No, uh, they don't. They, they, they took out Funko Pops. Right. Right. Hold on, hold on, stop. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta baby. defend the Pal World question. Let me show question. you my it's a, hey, it's a question. The Pal World question was fine, okay? Sure. It's fine. It was fine. Okay. You know what? You know what? It's fine. I'll I'll answer it. I'll answer it. If you actually played yeah. Power... intellectual property, intellectual property. If you've actually played Pal World and you played Pokemon, it's like nothing like that game. It's like it's like a weird like Minecraft wow. Rust type thing he... with like these little Minecraft they... ripoff characters. And I mean, people will say it's like intellectual property theft, but who cares about intellectual property? I feel whatever. like the characters in that game also all look. The yeah, same. actually, like, you know what's happening with Pal World? Pokemon needed some goddamn competition. Yeah, That's Pokemon got needed. boring. It's getting it's way too recent. Here's the thing: Pal World is farming young. If anything, the only thing Power World is 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 feasting off is the culture that that Pokemon breed. But in actuality, there's absolutely nothing to do with Pokemon. I'm processing what you're saying. Game, it's way more like Velheim than it is anywhere close to Pokemon. If, it, no, okay, if anything no, 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 no. that they did, bro, you're, if all they right. did was guys, take we're not the, gonna I would be around No, we're not doing we're not Power gonna is, you know, you know what? Stop. Okay, 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 stop. I'll switch the question. I like the no, question. No, 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 it's evil. It's evil. evil. Thing. Shut up. Thank you. Yes, Dad. I think I think that Power World is very It's still about Power World, but kind of technically, right? So lots of people look down on AI art. This is the question, by the way. Lots of people look down on AI art and actively discourage people from supporting services or games that use AI art. Power World being one of them. In your opinion, is AI art real art? Also, should we regulate or ban AI for certain professions? To be clear, Quarantos, thanks to your excellent research, you, you would probably you know that. Uh, because... Wait, why are you talking? I'm in the middle of a sentence. Okay, Tay's on day. Chill the fuck out for a sec. So, like the fact that they have designs that still look like a game and is actually likable, but it kind of still looks like Pokemon. It's like, and how many Pokemon ripoffs have been coming off over the so last 20 years? Is it a question about yeah, derivative works like, or is it about AI? Okay, so, AI, AI. so, AI so to yes, be clear, okay, okay, okay. Power World does not have AI. AI yes, I've said relevant that to an AI. Okay, Power World does not use AI art. The question is, AI art is technology that uses other people's art, it collates it from the internet to make original artwork and puts it out there. A lot of artists are mad about this. They're mad about the fact that AI art basically makes it very easy to replace them because they're because their their art is replaceable. Frankly, Asmund Gold got a lot of shit for a take recently where he said, honestly, you know, it doesn't really matter what the artist thinks of AI art. What matters is what the consumer thinks. And if the consumer is willing to buy a product that uses AI art technology, then who? Then like like you can't convince the average person who has like bills and groceries to worry about to care about. A f artist, Don't you can't convince them. Yeah, I'll well, be for with you. You guys know Susu JPG. I paid like five bucks to get free nudes on Tele. Where's my Tele? I get to get like nudes of her AI drawn. She made it herself. She's she's using the AI model for herself just to give her own like naked photos out to the people for free. Not for free, but it's like cost a little bit. But it's like I think it's I think it's a fine bit. I think it's fine. But okay, 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 okay. But, okay, okay, but Darius, that, uh, Darius, here's the question. In that case, in that closed circuit case, obviously this whatever star you follow, look at it. she's consenting. Okay, she's consenting to pictures of her or whatever to be put out there. What about like 
just you know a, a AI technology that uses random people's art that don't consent to it being used that collates it and puts it into the internet. Are you behind the artists on the internet? Okay, uh, we've on. already. We've already, as a culture, banned those people from Twitter. Like the Taylor Swift that happened. All that. I'm not talking off. about. We're talking about just yeah, they artwork. That guy. Let's just, let's just talk in general. Like, it's, it, it, then let's talk in general. Like, Get your, your mind out of the gutter, you coomer. Well, uh, that's all I want to think about. But even that, like, we ban that stuff. We ban stuff that's like obviously blatant plagiarism. That's like, or but just like fuck. From Twitter, but, but, like, but 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 the question is that AI AI society AI art is not blatant plagiarism. It's not. It's more complicated. Than Wait, that. But, it's, but it's, we sh we, sh we shun it. We already shun it. We've already as do a group we shun it? Yeah. Do we? What is it? Yes. Yes, we do. We Who do. shuns it? The, Maybe they shun it on Twitter, but actually. Chad GPT no, four is like an extremely successful company. You want to ban certain AI art or all AI art? No, I love AI art, bro. Like, I'm well, what are you bro, talking about banning? You're saying, you're saying <laughs> well, we banned it. Them? What did we ban? I'm not saying I'm not saying ban. I'm saying we we not banned it, but we, who's a sex offender, right? Like we've already publicly. What? No, you know what? You can't me. keep yourself from flirting with sixteen year olds on Tinder. I can't stop myself. That's why I said I've multiple times stopped myself. I've never been hooked. Um, I'm just saying that like multiple we with AI stuff we as a as, when we see backlash. It, <laughs> sir, 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 let me speak. Let me speak. Yeah, with like the Disney thing, Disney released this AI art that was like Mickey Mouse. We all were like. Oh, that's AI. Weird fingers. And I mean, all that. I mean, the thing Fuck is, you, the point that Asmund Gold is making that shit. is like Twitter people in the Twitter echo chamber care, but that's not representative of the greater population. The average person, if you showed them that and told them it's AI art, they'd be like, oh, "Okay, it looks good." Wasn't there? That's the same thing with anything. That's the same thing with anything. You do a miss America writing. There was AI. There was a controversy. There was that was like part a of the WGA <laughs> terms was they were trying to outlaw the use of AI in uh, written productions for film. And but no, but that's yeah, yeah, but something the, like that. The, and there was the average person, person you give them anything, they yeah, think it's good. Writers are upset and artists are upset. That makes perfect yeah, because sense. Because writers you're, and artists, I'm going to tell you right now. If your income relies Bro. on being a creative and technology <laughs> exists yeah, income. to take over, you're going to be upset. You're already sold. <laughs> artists are already sold out. Since when has the artist not been a commodity on the internet, bro? Honestly, these Tumblr artists, like you said, these Twitter artists with their Dragon Dildo fan um communities that they do, yeah. they really got way too much validation off the internet exactly Honestly, they've been Fuck their opinions don't matter they should be home ai is a goddamn tool bro it's just a tool that they don't want to adapt to like i said back in the day traditional to digital a lot of didn't want to move over and they didn't want to change their styles because they invested their egos and they invested their 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 artistic style and prowess into something already and they thought that they could have a voice to stop people from moving all oh, that's just ego bro like the the like you're participating in a market that has more than to do than just your artistic skill and yes the director who tight because marvel slapping can shut the up bro because everybody's still gonna watch the marvel movie bro and if you want to have an artistic hey. piece that's appreciated <laughs> you can still put it out and people will still support you you just mad that I'm millions and millions of people all right fossil, gonna fossil. Be the it's, ones all, it's all it's all envy it's Think jealousy right. yeah well we have copyright laws and ip laws to protect artists right like we decide that the, that's that that's that's why we're doing that it seems reasonable to have restrictions on selling AI that content mean? that was trained yeah. on That's uh, soon, a property man. that you don't own. I would also mean? say that artists yeah. who, you know, right now there have been leaks that proved exactly which artists, uh, their works were used to train these AI models. Yeah. I think those artists are absolutely entitled to some sort of revenue right, or right. Uh, royalty for the fact leaks. that these models leaks. were trained on their work. Let me, insert, let me insert a little bit of nuance in <laughs> the conversation, okay? So the issue sure. is... People, um, people wanted to go at this from an IP point of view, whereas they they wanted it originally to the works were derivative, right? But you can't really do that because the AI is creating something that doesn't appear to be derivative. So instead, people focus on the data training sets. So the question is, what is the meaningful difference between an AI that trains on copyrighted data sets versus an individual person that learns how to draw based on copyright? There, there isn't data really data. one. And you can't, you can't copyright an art style, yep. can you? You can't copyright an art style. It's you just say it's, you no, can't, can't copyright an art style, but let's be clear. The human it's brain ego. does not oh, inject an art file and then restore it to memory. Yes, it like, does. But it, but, yes, but it, but it, but it kind of does. You can learn to draw like someone else. Like, people have lost style lawsuits like what we were talking about. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah, awesome. 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 Sure, there have been lawsuits, and Dick is right. Dick, can you can you like describe that to me a little bit? Like, so yeah. uh, I forget the ex I forget the song. It was recent, but a guy got sued by the estate because his song sounded too much. It had the same vibe as the previous song, and he got uh, found to be in violation of copyright infringement 
Uh, I don't agree with the ruling, yeah. but yeah, it, it kind of means at some point, like we can't make any new music if you if you take it to the extreme. Also, I think I would want to be like really clear. That isn't technically people being sued for style copyrights. It's because they were trying to make the argument that the underlying music was similar enough that it. They're making the argument that it was a derivative work that he basically copied lines of melody or copied rhythms or copied <laughs> things exactly. I don't believe you can just copyright a whole style. No, you. Uh, I I'll go look up or I'll, I don't know. I'll try to look up the case, but it was uh, it wasn't an exact copy, but it was close because you know music is just chords and then is it is this, is this the case that was uh, was it Paramore and Blurred Olivia Rodrigo? Is that what you're talking about? Two point. Y'all y'all think that we have like this system that if someone plagiarizes, then instantaneously we shun them. And actually, we have a system where if you find a way to get away with plagiarism, it's all it's, it's good. celebrated. It's China celebrated, yeah. Yeah, it, it, you don't even realize how many works that you love are, are is just stolen from people who just silent and don't got a platform to be able to say so anything. The final product is good and people like it, and then people tend to not give a fuck if it's plagiarized. Exactly, yeah. It's, actually, it's that's what I'm saying. The, we we are society, abandoning the concept of protecting market. people if we just let we AI I run thing that havoc people. That's on bullshit. creative works. That's what I'm telling you. Which that's is fine, bullshit. but that's the that's a choice we're going to have to make. Like, we're not protecting anybody. Uh, they can train their data on anything, including shit they don't own. Uh, but you're going to be, they're just going to be ripoffs on an industrial scale at that point. I know there I is a, uh, good. there is a lawsuit against, is it open AI for Wall Street Journal for training others? For like Probably. Well, there, I believe yeah. there is, there have been some artists who have said, look, you plug my name in and it spits out an image and I can literally take like elements of the image and overlay them onto my own art. And it's a one for so it's one. like a, it's like a hodgepodge. You know, this section of is, it, is, it, is, it, yeah, is it is it kind of like a collage? Yeah, it the, of is it is it is it a, a uh, uh, you know, AI is not that bro? Like isn't again, you're just AI? listening to somebody who's in your face, somebody who you Dexter see really who's is, getting who's getting. I'm pretty sure it's AI. But don't you think morally? Okay, look. Let's say it's it's legal to take these people's work and feed it into your computer and make a billion dollars. Because let's be clear, all these AI companies are about to become rich. Shouldn't morally we as a society say, look, uh, you need to compensate these people. The only reason this program exists is because of the creativity that sprung from their brain. Uh, no. Give them a royalty, pay them a licensing fee to feed their works into your machine. I think no. we as a society can it's... can adjust you the laws are, to say you can't the just take The games you like work. right now is going through massive layoffs. Artists is getting swatted out the sky. You know how much and you, you even like you was doing anime. You know how many anime artists is struggling and starving and they art is getting. So your argument like, is art, less of art. them should get paid. What is your argument? I'm saying I'm being a realist. I'm not saying less of them should get paid. I'm an artist, my goddamn self. I would. Do, I, for, am I, do I feel bad for the artists or not? Money. The ones who are getting laid off. Should I feel bad for them? You don't know you shouldn't. They because no, they, shouldn't they feel bad for people getting off laid off. off. No, no, Bro. you shouldn't. No, I don't, Vito, don't you do like people. I think it's you fair shouldn't. to say that you can feel bad for them, but also recognize. Well, he's saying not to feel bad for bad. them because this is the future. Uh, we spit it all into oh. a computer. It's in not the, the, the future. Spirit of it's the present. Just... That's what I'm saying. It's not the future. It's the present. Bro. I think you just obviously you don't I, know. I, I think should be right. Here's, here's something I'm curious about. Right, so. For the people that are pro uh, restricting the data training sets, where you're saying that you shouldn't be able to train it on copyrighted stuff, okay? <laughs> Let's say that I have a, a third generation of like animated cartoons, okay, that are all cool, and these artists were all inspired by like second generation animations, and then we go all the way back to like first generation animations, okay, from like 100 or 200 years ago. I don't know when the first animations were. What if you were to take an AI thing, train it on that until it basically generated the second? generation animations and then trained that on that and just basically reconstructed like human animations you've caught up to where we were how would you ever like enforce or regulate that sort of data training well you'd have to prove all this in court like if you did get yeah. taken to court for your cartoon you'd have to pr you know your defense would be uh look we proved we we trained it on this that trained it on this and then the judge might say you, you know depending be. on where we land is well you can't do that that's illegal you owe them money um, which I would be okay with that because I think the system right now is heavily weighted towards artists. these giant entertainment uh, conglomerates, and I don't like that. Like I don't like that all of our culture is created by Disney, uh, and I think there I think there are laws in place, financial laws that have that have made that an inevitability. So I don't. The mind. team may just say that our stuff is bait is there because the artist. Which one is it? Is it because the artist put the art out, or is it because the yes? But the, the corporate entities that run the corporations group. that run entertainment uh, are are monolithic. I, I don't like that. I think I think it's had a disastrous effect. Like the artist, the artist wouldn't even get it in front of you in the first place without these without these 
corporate mongoose who's just fucking I don't think monolith, that's, bro. I'm not going to just accept that. I, think I don't accept that art doesn't exist really? without really? the UK. I don't accept that that's, art that's doesn't that. exist unless Disney is publishing it, okay? I, I art has existed yeah. in the public sphere well before these corporate monoliths. They've of course, they get off, bro. We were just talking about power. And, and they wasn't power making billions, like nigga. And we went, give me what the hell in this world. Okay, okay, to be clear. Okay, okay, Fossil, Fossil, Disney artists don't get paid billions. The CEO does. Disney artists don't get paid billions of dollars. There's no artist making billions of dollars. It doesn't exist. That's what I'm saying. At any, at any time in history, for human history, ever, when has the artist been making billions of dollars off their work? And when hasn't well, it been? Banks, I mean, I like, like, and and a lot of famous artists to shit get money. In there. Damien Hurst. Like, Are like manga like, artists? How much, like, how much pretty... does like Hidoa Kojima make? Hideo I mean, he owns the company. I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah. I, I mean probably that, a lot. Is it GG? Is it GG? Do you think the balance on, between on, artists and, and go ahead? Disney is it GG Akatama? By Walt Disney. Walt Disney was an animator. So I have no problem when the artists at the top are making tons of money. Walt Disney made a fortune and he was an artist. Okay, so you can't say, oh, the artists never get paid. And also yes, you're I can. You don't, you, you don't... It's an anomaly, bro. This... What the live? What are you talking about? I'm the president. How many artists starve and die? Like, every, oh, everybody I... die. All right, then. Majority of people stuff. starve and die. That the vast majority artists. of artists who are making the content that we consume are not being paid multiple millions of dollars. Do now, Walt Disney true? Sure. Yeah. Not even Damn. close. If anything, they're being underpaid. Like the struggle with the artists is that it is right. So let's have some laws uh, so in favor of the underpaid. artists, right? That's all yeah, I'm saying. Like saying... If, in the balance of between artists and like con uh, conglomerates that that sell their art, I would like to see more uh, laws coming uh, weighing in favor of the artists. How are you uh, saying uh, artists, artists are underpaid and also they're a bunch of pretentious? <sighs> we shouldn't feel bad when they lose their jobs. It's You're because they are two lanes. Yeah, because they artists. Pick what one. do you mean? So they're they are. So the they way deserve to, to stay. Yes. Do they deserve more or less? Do artists Bro, if you deserve give the artists more? They probably gonna Hold stop on. doing art. Oh. I'm just <laughs> if you give them more, like, they don't want to They gotta stay miserable. We have to stop. We have to stop. How do we stop later, lady ballers? That's all I want to know. How do we never have another lady ballers? Well, the problem with lady ballers is that's what happens when artists have money. Because they're yeah, rich. So keep them broke yeah, and you'll get what you want. <laughs> Good Because there are content, we get a lot of content creators on this panel, right? So here's a question. Um, I, I think one argument that somebody might uh, forward is the idea that these mega corporations are important because art today to produce at a high quality, and even arguably in the past, takes a lot of capital, takes a lot of initial investment. And without anybody there to make those types of investments, you would get a lot of stuff that just wouldn't <coughs> exist. So for example, when we look at a lot of like classical music, like Mozart and stuff, like a lot of these people were court composers. Their pieces were commissioned by kings. They weren't just writing in the passion of their upstairs, you know, bedroom or apartment. They were literally being paid like huge amounts of money by, you know, royalty to compose these songs. And then today, if you wanted to animate something, uh, like unless you're willing to sit for two years and work on one project, you probably need like a team of people and everything to do it. And who's gonna front the capital risk for that? if it isn't like large corporations. I guess, how do you like deal with well, that? Well, I mean, that ties back into the AI art thing and why I'm pretty for it. It makes it more accessible to be able to do those things because now I don't need a whole animation team. I can instead go to chat GPT 4.0, whatever, 5 million point oh, and then I can be able to do this a lot more accessibly. Or if I want to have individual people make my art, I can, I can choose to do that. I also think, I think it's, I think it's important to make a distinction that I don't think that, uh, all AI art is all just fair game. I mean, if what you're making is essentially in its essence a complete ripoff of someone else, I think that, you know, there should be legal avenues to explore to, you know, take care of that. But I think the AI art technology as a tool for artists is quite cool. And I think that a lot of the artists that are throwing hissy fits over the bare existence of it are just, uh, you know, probably yeah, making they're hundred. They're, they're probably making a hundred dollars a month drawing furry art anyway and should be replaced, honestly. <laughs> yeah. I'm okay. I agree that it, it does take a huge budget to make some of these movies, and I'm okay with increasing the budget a little more to be giving, like, some sort of licensing, like, uh, training licensing fee. Uh, I, I want to protect the individual, the human element of this, and more than I want to protect the, the corporations uh, need to make profit off of it, I guess I'm saying. <laughs> and there is a, sort of a, a precedent for this because algorithms in and of themselves are defined legally, 
where a, a, comp, a process becomes too complicated to be done by a human and then it becomes an algorithm on a computer and that has its own legal classification i think i don't know i'm not a lawyer uh so i i feel like we're we're, we're able to conceptualize <laughs> these things in different stages uh like we should do with ai well, you have to hope that AI, it's going to be like, you know, the invention of computer animation. It wasn't that we lost jobs because we had this new technology. It's that people became trained in the new jobs and that there was more demand for it. And thus more movies can be made with that technology. Yeah. So I have to hope that AI isn't, oh, now we can make movies with less people. I hope it's, oh, we can make more movies or more elaborate movies. Uh, and yeah. that, that should be the focus is finding ways to expand and find these people. Uh, I do think artists need to stop being resistant to it. I think you need to go, okay, AI is part of, it's the future. We've seen what it can do. It's very powerful. And I think artists need to stop uh, with this wish fulfillment of, oh, is, you know, we'll socially stop it. We'll convince everyone it's bad. It's never going to work, okay? Because as we've said, the layman does not care. The layman won't even know that it's AI at a certain point. I mean, with so literally- we need, embrace it. we need to implement it into people's workflow and artists- yeah. uh, should be excited about it, but they're going to have to figure out how to use it. With every new technology, there's always growing pains. There may be a few lost jobs, but I mean, one decent example of something that's a lot more um, widespread is uh, paper. When computers became a big thing, laptops became a big thing, everybody assumed paper would like basically just die, right? Who the f uses paper, right? I don't know if you guys know, paper sales are like up 15% from like pre-laptop era because now that printers and computers are just so accessible, every school is using like a amount of paper and it just expanded that market now they're making more money than ever and this is going to apply for animation too if animation and art is more accessible if the barrier of entry for skill level is lower and you can more easily produce things um i think it's just going to breed more and more beautiful art uh and i think Vito is going to be at the forefront of that he'll be helming it and he'll make some really great uh above age sex cartoons 15 year old dragon. Dragon. No. One of the most on an adventure you're a pedophile it's got an idea. You're doing. You're doing. It generates an id for your uh, uh yeah we're gonna generate fake Lolly. ids for all the kids <laughs> Yo, I know, uh, I know it sounds like, I know it sounds like I'm, I'm being a downer about artists and everything. But again, as an artist, I actually <laughs> don't think that a renaissance is upon us. Again, I just think the artist is just being hissy fits in their egos, and they just been off of being able to have like a ten thousand Twitter follower support, you know, Patreon or whatever, join Dag Dragon dildos. But the thing is, is that if AR that. art comes in, that? hold on. This the thing is, if yeah. AR art comes in. Um, and let's say everything gets homog homogenized and like most of the AAA things or the higher production things become like kind of samey, but people generally like it. What now opens up is a niche market for more artists to just take on their own endeavors. And honestly, people in, in times like <laughs> this are willing to pay more for something that's more individualized that they- Nigga, I, do not, I actually don't care, dude. I'm, I've tried so hard to listen. It is so boring, man. Because you're to your artist that makes yeah, no guapo you and you're mad because AI you niggas know, you know, you no I'm not saying I'm just I'm just processing this I'm thinking no I'm processing what you're saying and I'm thinking about who you are who are those people yeah, you're playing some spade and you're about to have not keep here you go boom 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 Okay, sorry. No, no, just, I will I'm processing what you're saying, and I'm thinking about everything. And honestly, God, I zoomed out, zoomed out like seventy five percent of it. I don't wait. No, you didn't listen. Uh, How are you listening? You zoned out. I think you don't make sense, bro. I get it. You really bored. I think artists are more unique than you. The only thing they really provide is art. So if I'm not sitting here art in, then you ain't gonna care. I get it. I'm just saying, bro. If I took your art, put it in an AI machine, I'd make it ten times better. Make a Make more guap, make more that's money than fine. you. Make more swap. That's definitely fine, nigga. But you're safe though because, because AI can office. never say the N word. That's true. That's exactly. the N word. It's going to be a huge exactly. market for so when, art. So when you they make this better and somebody wants to have gore of the art that you just broke, made for me and you can't do it because the AI machine doesn't produce gore, they're going to come to me and I'm going to give it to them. The blood and guts. That's the because that's exactly what's gonna happen. So, so go ahead and learn to draw puppy. really racist stuff because the AI exactly. isn't allowed yes. to make it. Also, just yes. as a real quick, as a, this thing comes in, okay, for people thinking that it's gonna help like naturally drawn art or whatever, that's not gonna happen, okay? Nah, you're it's not, leaving yeah. out you're forgetting the crucial element in terms of people deciding on what to buy, and that is price. The thing about AI is that it's gonna allow you to create stuff incredibly cheaply. So for that authentic art that you want, it's gonna cost you like 10 or 50 times more, which is why people that do art as humans Dog, are a little bit more threatened by it.
dog in a real sense that you're saying like oh yeah if it's not gonna make gore once it makes gore what do you do you look for the next thing you're gonna hope that there's gonna be unique niche things for the rest of your life that ai can't take over and eventually you're gonna run out brother and then when that, when that time you're runs not. out you're gonna be out of a fire before it runs that out is very, talking about. that is this very is prescient a, because your time has run out darius and irrelevant yeah Thank you for coming on on Irrelevant and Darius. Please shut yourself off. Last word. Darius, get on Snapchat before bedtime of all these. Yeah, yeah. see you soon, man. Like, take home. <laughs> I just want to say before you guys leave, uh, really someone, really someone, someone named Just Elk sent me a picture of you guys sitting in a room with someone named Callie on the screen holding a fish, and uh, well, it says she's twenty. What? But have you guys seen this picture? You guys know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm no, I'm just interested. Take a seat, type two. Is he okay? Is that he sent you a picture? I don't know. What just milk sent you. What do you say? Just Elk. He sent me a. It says you five to eight. Have it? Women love me, fish fear me. I mean, I'm allowed to have it, but it looks like a pretty dark image, dude. It looks pretty dark. Just put it, just put it as your background. I'd love to see it, bro. <laughs> yeah, if it's, no, if, no. If it's my... <laughs> Wait, put the picture up. What the f is this yeah, picture? Put the picture? You want me to send? I can send it to you, Q, if you want. Okay. Uh, yeah, send it to me. I'll okay, it. let me message you. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Irrelevant. Well, any yeah. There anyway. you yourself out. I am. Wait, uh, it said the oh, upload dog. failed. Oh no, 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 no! I just I saw the image, bro. Before, they, know, before yeah. they leave, before they leave, we need to see the picture. It wouldn't even let me send it. On Discord, am I gonna dude. go to jail if I see this? <laughs> Don't put the picture. You're up. not gonna what go to you jail. Know? It's just there's something. Wait, let me add you. Let me add you. Hold She's just a cute girl. girl. She, she could. Come on, she could be 18. It's possible. Oh. She was just doing it. She's obviously doing it. Okay, cute. Did you add me? She was. Yeah, I sent you a request. Okay, I. I feel like the really tight like life vest kind of like makes her boobs smaller. Oh, yeah. What is this picture? So Destiny, you right? freak. This Jesus. Is it's this picture. Whoa. <laughs> what the Dude, is this? That's what I said. Oh, oh, said is this real? I don't know. I will tell you in oh, two no seconds. Shit. It's, it's real. It's real. <laughs> you have to show it now. You have to Yo. show it. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's real? Yeah, with the max, bro. You know, like, how are we supposed to? How are you even supposed to know these days? <laughs> what's that? What's that about? Uh, you, you got? You got any comments? What it's, do you? In the chat. Hey, what it's are in, you it's in, in the chat? Darius, why is there a message of you saying hi? Do you want to hang with me and talk about life? <laughs> why are you messaging? Because I wanted to. Would you want to be honest? I mean, like, obviously, that's like one of the photos of like eight, and she had the photo of her as a kid on there, and someone decided to screenshot it. It's not real. Was that obviously the one that she... made you want to message her or something? I don't know. Like, no, <laughs> I was just like, I was just, I was trying to figure, I was trying to figure out, I was trying to figure out if that was her baby or not. I was trying to figure out if that was her as a baby or if that was her child. That's what do you mean, lie? What do you mean, lie? You were there. I was there. I was there. <laughs> yeah, look at his eyes. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. I'm side-eyeing you because I just sure called you made a weird joke about her. <laughs> I probably made a weird joke, yeah, because it was funny at the time. That's obviously a child. It's obviously I don't a know, baby. Man, your eyes are like way too intrigued by that picture. Yeah. I'm intrigued by the fact that someone has a photo of this. That's what I'm That's intrigued by. Intriguing. Why is that intriguing uh, to you? I don't find that intriguing. Yeah. What is intriguing to you about children and life? So well, he literally already said it. He, <laughs> said he wanted to know if it was a dog. <laughs> 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 See you guys later. Have a good one. Take care, Melvin. Have relevant. fun, man. Good one. Good one. Good one. Okay. Congratulations, by the way, for making it to the last round of Kicker Keep. You are the Thank four you. finalists, the last two teams remaining. If no, I win, do I get to say the N word? <laughs> yeah, you know what? If I, you I'm lose, you can say it something privately, bro. All right, cool. All right. There you go. There you go. Now, let me ask you this question. Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. Wait, have we exclusively eliminated black people from the show so far? No, we got no. we got fossil. We got fossil, fossil. Right there. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I mean, you just you you yeah. just kicked Darius. Okay, I'm so sorry. Hold on, I forgot. Q English is not your first. Well, that's actually true. It's not your first language. I asked if we've exclusively eliminated black people, as in have how the black only is people Darius? that have been eliminated. Been you just kicked black. out Darius. That was the question. How black is? Let me, Darius? let me think. Very. Yeah, also, by the way, that, the, the way you framed the question, it could be taken both ways. But yeah, we eliminated Darius. Irrelevant. Sky Tech. Actually, that is what the. F I think this is racist. <laughs> it's DGG. So you know what? Yeah, so fossil, you need to win. Need to win for the black yeah, people. Yeah, right. Which I'm not a part of. We got the one not... Mexican around. That's pretty good. I right? can yeah. breathe. Um, I can breathe. Wait, who's a Mexican in here? I'm half. Hey. I'm 51. Wow. Come on, Q. Wait, wait. So you're 51. percent Your name yeah. is Dick Masterson, and you look like this. Uh, Q, that's <laughs> not my real name. <laughs> wait, really? <laughs> <laughs>
I don't know if that's a that's, 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 that's a surprise. I don't know what this that seems like. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Is Quantorius your real name? <laughs> Listen, Masterson sounds like an actual real name, you know what I mean? Is Vito the pedo your That's real why name? I got the Danny Trejo yeah. spots here. It's on my list. Also, also before, b before I move on to the last topic, I just want a quick, quick shout out to uh, Ilhan Omar, you know what I mean? The congresswoman. Uh, she, had a, she had a base take recently where she pretty much said that she's in the U.S. government just to, you know, be a voice for the Somali government. That was based. I appreciate her. You know what I mean? I thought she was a sellout to the white devil, but she actually wasn't. So I apologize. Shout out to you. Anyways, moving on to the last topic. Multiple topics since we've got 30 minutes. Recently, Keffels. I don't know if you guys know who Keffels is. Do I need to introduce that person or is everybody familiar with them? I think we know. We you don't it. know who? We dated yeah, you know. briefly. <laughs> I, I believe you, actually. But let me move on. No, no, I believe you. Uh, Keffels had the notorious, the infamous, the one and only, Chris Chan on her stream recently. How far is it too far when it comes to platforming somebody on your channel? By the way, uh, Chris Chan being the guy, right? His young oh, woman, young lady. Woman. No, don't do that. Yeah, don't do young that. lady. Don't do that. Her mom. Sir. And, and, Sir. And, 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 yeah, and her mom. Young about I feel like raping your mom isn't really a crime. Like It's I your mean, mom. Oh, yeah, it's your mom. Who made you do it? Society? Uh, you know what? You know what? She had all the I'm chances actually, in the world. You joking? But I'm dead ass gonna. I'm I'm gonna play devil's advocate. So I'm throwing the what? game. I'm sorry, Tom, son, but I'm I'm Chris Chang Defense Force right now, son. If y'all don't know how long the internet has been harassing and completely just devastating and destroying that person's life, y'all just bugging out, bro. She had no. That's she had just, no choice wow. but to her mother after all that harassment i don't really no, yeah, i don't I agree really, with you <laughs> i don't really you guys are all being very funny i don't really care to defend chris but i think it's fine if keffels wants to interview someone who did something bad i don't i don't really care i will say i think i saw a little bit of the interview and i wish keffels had given more pushback rather than just being like i'm so glad you're back oh my god but i mean whatever i don't know it's her channel she can do what she wants yeah i mean the news goes to prisons and interviews criminals all the time uh, we have plenty of documentaries about people who've committed horrible and murders uh, so I don't know why there is all this expectation, this idea of platforming that you can't have people who have been uh, accused of horrible things. You can't talk to them on the internet. And I think okay, obviously we want to hear from Christian. Bro. We want to know. I that. mean, you're literally you're literally talking to. There are three people I'm in this actually, call who had Mr. Girl on their shows like a hundred times. So obviously this is a yeah. kind of a bunk question. Yeah, we got Mr. Here now. So, you know. <laughs> True. I, yeah, I mean, sure. How much? Like, I, you know, who is it? Some some dude from Mars. I forget his YouTube channel. This. The gamer from five Mars. Hour, yeah, oh, yeah, a five-hour video a documentary on Chris Chan. And I actually sat through that and listened to all of the that that person has been through with the internet and like this autistic individual who's le legitimately, like clinically autistic, was abused to no end on the internet and is the most one of the most documented entities on the internet. Like I, I. Do you and think, do you think, a, this okay, okay, if you, want, on the, if you yeah, want to go down that path of thought, do you not think they can be held accountable for their mom? He's your teammate, right. by the way. That, see, that's a, that's a complete, like, bro, I think that is, that's almost like, <sighs> that's like if you like, like, if someone's in a psych ward and they, like, bugging the f out for, like, consistently five months straight and then you lock them in a room with their moms and then they kill their moms. And you'd be like, God damn, we need to lock them up. It's like you you almost was asking for it. Like there's so much more precedent that something bad was gonna happen in that person's life that no, I don't think that from the internet point of view that we should be looking at that situation and then saying so here's the worst a few, aspect of that as, whole thing as, is the fact as someone that who knows Chris a lot of, as someone who knows a lot about Chris, let me give you a little context. For years, Chris had been writing in their in their little writings and blog posts about their ideations about having sex with their mother and how there wasn't anything really wrong with it and how they had a dream about f***ing their mom. Pre the internet suggesting anything about this, they had ideations in their mind to do it. I know there were like, you know, Isabella Janky, like some degenerate Discord trolls in there trying to encourage them to do it and encouraging it. But I mean, obviously, to an extent, if somebody is doing that out in society, whether or not we think that they can be held totally mentally responsible, don't you think this person should be in some kind of home? Yeah, maybe I'm yeah, mis oh, right. maybe I'm miscommunicating. I am not saying that this person is not should be held accountable for what they did. But you just said it yourself. Like there was 
how a plethora of blog posts about this situation and the fact that Christian, there's so many instances where that person did things and people were like, there's no way they're going to do it. There's no way. Like there was one instance where they, where they catfished them and, and he drove like three states to meet somebody. And like, they was like, there's no way they're going to, th there's no way that Christian is going to get in the car and drive three states, <coughs> three, four, three states. And their parents was going crazy because Christian just vanished out of nowhere when it was like internet trolls baiting them to, to leave their home. Fossil, their, Fossil, Fossil, their... Fossil, hold on. Yeah. I, I want to ask you guys this. I want to ask you guys this because Vito kept talking about, you know, I don't know why the f we make a big deal out of platforming. We could f talk to whoever, as long as we're not co-signing them or supporting them, whatever, right? If I were to bring up Christian right now from AVC and put her in. See, I said her, I'm progressive. And put in, right? Would you guys feel comfortable with it? Would you guys feel no. comfortable with it? No, I would, I would I probably like, feel like, like Christian content. We should platform anybody, but I wouldn't be around them. Uh, okay. You know I mean? No, we have to fight no. for platforming now. We you have, can, no, now uh, it's important to protect everything because that's what they're trying to take away. If you, everything was perfect, Q, and you and you could platform anybody without losing your bank account or your life or your career, then I would then I would be willing to say how uncomfortable it is. But because we're in the situation them. we're in, Q, 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 shut up, shut up. To be clear, that's a fault. That's a that's a. That doesn't even make sense because we're defending people's right to have them on their platform. But also, that's also the right to choose whether or not you have them on. I would feel uncomfortable if Chris was here. Other people can do what they I want. I would think you should clear it with the panel. I mean, that's the thing is everybody should have the right to choose who they associate with. We agree with that. And Dick is right. There are, there are there are people like Fuentes or, you know, Alex Jones or whatever who have had their bank accounts shut down and had their lives, I mean, you know, partially ruined as a Man. result of speaking their mind. Alex so Jones is back on Twitter, to, uh, and it's taken it power to, uh, from him. Like, he seems less interesting and cool and powerful. You can, like, watch his... I think you can watch his influence kind of erode because he's no longer this folk hero for freedom. Well, there, I, not I the love that guy. Anymore, yeah, yeah um, Yo, he, everyone can see when he fucks So that's up an argument against deplatforming because, honestly, when you deplatform people, you do kind of give them this mystique, uh, and you make them into a victim. I mean, you know, the the idea of having your voice taken away, not being able to defend yourself, not have your ideas heard, I think that's uh, genuinely horrifying to most people, if not all people. And uh, instinctively, we all identify with that. Even if it's the worst person in the world, the idea that they can't speak or defend themselves uh, online or in a court or whatever else uh, is horrifying. So the argument against deplatforming is I just think it's highly unethical that all people, even the worst of us, should be allowed to plead our case even if our case is insane even if chris chan comes on here and goes i should be able to f my mom i go well you're nuts but i'm not going to take away your ability to express your ideas bro what uh, does what does being clinically like you do realize that ever since the beginning of the true chris chan saga this person has been like diagnosed by like whatever institution they <laughs> want to say like they get paid by the government for being mentally inept they're disabled like, they get what does that mean yeah. to y'all is that nothing is that nothing well, we don't does have anywhere to put her are we you used to have big beautiful can you can you, can you not have autistic people, people on your stream no what i'm but but i think is the here right now is, is like uh, what? You got okay. autistic oh. people. Okay, okay, first of all, first of all, no, 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 no. Oh. Fossil, one second, Fossil, one second. Oh. I want to talk about this. Uh -oh. But no, Tom, Tom, I'm not, I'm not going, I'm not going to go in on you because you know what? Even if I was autistic, don't be autism. That's all I gotta say. But think about it this way: Does autism make you want to your mother? Because you, you brought it up, Fossil. You were yes. like, I said, autistic person that was Isn't abused. Isn't it normal to want to your mom? You, I thought you, that you, was you normal behavior. Of autistic, Oedipus, man. Yeah. Kids, like, there was a video of an autistic kid. She was like. The moms was telling her no Popeyes today. And he was like, Popeyes. And he grabbed her and was like choking her. Like, I don't know if any, somebody had to see that video. I guess y'all know. I've like, never seen that. Can you find that for research today, purposes? Though? Is that <laughs> at, at some point I'll show you. But the, the, like autistic children, they actually can get violent, bro. Like it's, yeah. I, I just don't understand yeah, how y'all just like. It's almost like are just, creeps and weirdos. We know that, but I'm not going to take away their ability. Actually, maybe we should put him in the UFC. Platforms. Yes, uh, Sam Hyde should take before. Fish Tank and just make it a whole. I'm not justifying or raping the mom. I think they should have been locked away a long time ago. Right. But my point is that the internet, and we are the internet right now, has been dealing with this person for over eight years with consistent behavior and blogs. It's almost like if it was, if it was a school shooter instead. And there was like forum posts all day of school shooting and nobody did anything about it. And then when it happened, you condemned the person. But what and am all, I supposed all... to do when an autistic person... Makes... 
makes a comic book about them hanging out with Sonic and trying to fuck women. Don't get you trolling, man. You see, you're meeting. You're meeting. You're meeting. This is the thing. You're a degenerate, bro. Disengage, son. How long are you going to form it? Eight plus there's a guy who exclusively commissions artwork of women cutting down trees and buying Wonder Bread. Yeah, that's naturally intriguing to me, and we want to bring him on the show and talk to him and find out what's going on. How old was her mom? You want to ignore it and, like, we're not allowed to talk about it? It's not... Bro, I'm saying that you're, like, right now, you're condemning this person. Even if you wanted to talk about it, you're not... Like, the moral... Like, like the side you're taking right now is... it's it's To me, it's cognitive dissonance, bro. I don't <laughs> what understand do you mean? how... What do you mean? What do you mean? Be like that. Sorry, again, this entire town... You know all this law about Chris Chan, but every time you try to have any sort of empathy, you start memeing. But like at the same time, you're trying to act like you can have some kind of morals like standing. I think. Can, can you have can you have empathy for someone while also making fun of them? Yeah, you Look, can I, definitely, but there's a limit to this. Like I, what I love if, the But what is the limit? We're we're we weren't in Chris's DMs saying go f your mom. We're just talking about it on a podcast. You, and you know we, that there's like people who went to his crib, like they. Yes, I know they went to his crib. Yes, that's wild. Crib. Nah, that's All crazy. Right, that's well, next let, me you the, let me ask you this, this question. I'm someone. I, I don't want Christian to come to harm. I don't want to encourage Christian to harm anyone. But I do find it interesting that they make these crazy comics about the exotic characters, women or whatever. What am I supposed to do? Just not comment on it because it might lead someone else to harm them. Like just. Ignore it. Don't talk about it. Don't post about it. Is that my moral responsibility? To you still that keep framing it. You still keep framing it as if this person hasn't been driven over, like, over the edge to the pretend point where, like... Pretend it's not them. Okay, let's pretend it's a completely There ain't person. nobody on the internet who's who's had their fucking lives fucking siphoned by the internet to such a degree, bro. So you're like, saying morally they, because of what's <laughs> happened to Chris Chan, you should never parents, talk bro. about Chris Chan again. No, well, you you keep morally... doing this crazy extrapolation. It's called a hybrid Though. What, what do, do you want do? Us to do? What, what do you want do? us to do? What do we do? If you're gonna do, keep doing what you're doing, but realize that we started off talking about. Okay. No, listen. No, we're starting off condemning this person as a like you're painting yeah. Christian. If Christian, what do you mean? Yeah. Fossil, no, fossil, no, fossil, fossil, fossil. Yeah, even in the other reality, bro. Fossil, you're my, you're my teammate. I really don't want to lose this. I want this five hundred dollars. Can you please <laughs> explain what the I, point I, of what I, you're I, saying I, is? The point of what I'm saying is like the framing of anything that involves with Christian is already warped beyond measure with memes, with 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 context that's outside of that person's life. So for you to assess whether or not they they should be held accountable to the or whatever people are bringing them on the internet for again is 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 just doing the same thing over and over again, bro. It's, Do you think Christian's farming. a danger to herself and others? Huh? Do you of think she's dangerous? They, yeah. They, okay. They, so what should we? Can we lock her up for the? I mean, what are we gonna? What are we gonna do about you this? You should have been locked up. So what I'm saying is, you should have been locked them up not, for what? They, they had not, committed a crime. Okay. 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 One second. Fossil, stop. Fossil, stop. 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 Let me switch gears a little. I want to switch. Gears should we stop. start? Wait. Should we start locking up lol cows just because they are annoying? No, 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 on no. the off chance they <laughs> their mom. <laughs> You I mean, guys said lock not the veto. All right, you all said right. lock them up. You said lock them up. You said lock uh Christian lock up. Christian up. Where would you lock them up? How about we go there? Let me ask you this. Where would you lock them up? No, no, hold up. There's a lot of moms in women's prison. Oh boy. <laughs> no, it's a woman. It doesn't matter whether it's a mom or not. There are actually a lot of moms in there kind of problem. Yeah. So where would you lock them up? Where would you give me your take on that? I wanna know. Ooh, me? Dick! Oh, yeah, you. Oh, Why we're the lot Christian all off, man. Up. We need to. <laughs> we gotta have asylums back. This is I'm just not like engaging with accountability over the Christian situation at the point of raping of mom. That is wild to me. The fact that it's only it took y'all until he. The question. Before, but you can't arrest someone who hasn't committed a crime. Where do we put Christian right now? Yeah, where should we put Bro, I'm not no psychiatrist, bro. Out of here, son. But the, I well, think then, the what is the point? We're having for... a hypothetical conversation. They've been in the home for Give a long idea. time. They've been in the home. I, all right, lock them in the home, bro. Lock all right, them just lock them in the house like Chernobyl. Home. Dump you cement all over. Okay, you know what? You know what, Fossil? You know what, Fossil? I actually agree. I actually, I, I see your point. Yes, Chris should have been in a home prior. 
But because there was no crime committed, because of a lot of failures of the state and various systems, because of the fact he was coddled by his parents, he was not in a home. That's unfortunate. But there was nothing, there was there was no reality in which Chris would have actually been in a home before going to jail. Like there's no reality in which that would have actually happened. A lot of societal parameters would have had to happen. And then, and ultimately like what reality do you expect to happen? Like a bunch of trolls online are like calling the police like, hey, this person is drawing son at you. I think you need to put them in jail. Like this is a platforming question, ultimately. Okay, you, right? you mean the sonic you instead of yo, this person, like all the I other think, things that have been but done. Chris, all right, but Chris like, hadn't done people Chris to your house. Chris hadn't done anything illegal until the mom thing. Yeah, they haven't done anything illegal, but they did things that's unhinged by anybody's social. But standards. you can be un but standards. just because you are unhinged they, they doesn't mean you can go to jail. Family at risk. Like y'all worried about getting doxxed, and again, they had like multiple teams of content creators come under the guise of being friends to so, form them okay okay so house. so whose responsibility should it have been to deal with that me yeah no what i'm saying is that right now we're we're still trying to assign moral responsibility to kefels for the way that they're platforming or handling this person okay let's yeah, the like system failed us. this is an easy question this is an easy question what is the law that you would draft what would be what would become illegal or what would become punishable by you know criminal offense <laughs> the law the our draft is um man son like first off i thought doxing and you know harassment and um all that should have already been illegal if that stuff was illegal, none of those things are illegal when you say illegal so i might dm you not, on man, but you that should be illegal. i know I that DM you a mean word harassment like, you should can arrest be illegal me. it can reach that point I mean, bro, there's, there's like, like stalking somebody there's and like grabbing somebody in real life. You, yeah, you, but... you think, I don't know what Encyclopedia Dramatic is, bro. That page should be illegal, bro. Christian oh, page on Come on, on. on. That's that's why. Why. Yeah, I will take Encyclopedia Dramatica from you. You yeah, know I'm how good. hard you're... Yes, you're going to have a bad good. time if you're trying to do that. Man, I know, every, you will have everybody fighting for that. This is all okay. to protect somebody who should be in an institution. We need to we need to bring institutions back. Uh, someone like Christian should have been identified early. You can take him in for a psych evaluation, give him a limited time. Like, I mean, we need to bring back one flew over the cuckoo's nest and just try to make it a little better. Because uh, what we have here is Kiwi Farms, and it's, I mean, like we're a, we're a violent society. We we see violence and we we profit off it. We want to see it. We're 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 very sick people. We want to parade it around and laugh at it and judge it. Like it's very important to us. So we need the law to come in and say and we don't want to we don't want to cross the law responsibility and the platforming responsibility. We want to let us be sick and degenerate and parade around freaks, but the law needs to come in and protect them. And that's the component we're missing right now with Chris Chan. They should have came in and said, you need to be a ward of the state. We're going to run you through a bunch of processes and take a look at you, but we need to protect you from this very sick population that will never leave you alone. I mean, I mean well, Chris, 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 Chris also need to be protected from themselves is I think the greater point too. Cause I think even without the internet, yeah. they, because of the abuse they suffered in childhood, a lot of horrible things happen to them. Their their brain degenerated to whatever degree, and they just they they're not fit to be out on the streets. You know, they're not. They're I'll not. say this: Look, if you're bringing on Chris Chan to try and hurt them, to try and uh, humiliate them, uh, to a certain extent, I could find that immoral. But you can't, uh, you know, outlaw human curiosity. Again, when when there's a person and they do wacky things, they make crazy comics. Okay, my brain goes. I kind of want to learn more about this person. Oh, hey, there's oh, an encyclopedia bro. dramatical yeah. article. Like, I mean, to catch gonna, a predator do do was all with Vito, Here's the thing, Vito. I, I, How are you going to stop I being agree interested with you, bro. in that? The thing is, is like there's a difference between if you did this to Boogie right now and you did it to, to Christian. Wait, why does like, Boogie, Boogie why is drag it to Boogie, Boogie all Because Boogie over deserves the, it. Well, he well, deserves yeah, it. Yes. Why does Boogie <laughs> not deserve it? Every, <laughs> every bit of it, bro. He's a degenerate. He's the worst. Christian just, just, Mom, <laughs> I mean, that's, you see what I'm saying? That's like eight years of mental problems. And mentally he's, sick people can also be bad. Fossil, 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 fossil. Here's, here's a good them. question. Yeah. Fossil, okay, so with Boogie, what would you say his worst traits are? Boogie? Um, ungrateful. He's all, like, he's awful. Like, he's fucked privileged. Okay, do you um, think, do you he's think, just, do you, he's greedy. Do you think that any of like his ben, any of his negative tendencies could have been formed due to the abuse he suffered in childhood? Are you aware he claims to have been molested by his own father? He claims. I, I like I ain't listening to a goddamn thing that man says. Okay, so. let's so okay. Let's say wait, let's say okay, wait, 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 wait stop! Stop! Shut the f up. Okay, let's say it's real. Let's say it's actually real. 
Would that absolve him of responsibility in the same way that Chris is absolved? No, because he's still not like clinic. <laughs> like I, I believe in society. Yeah, then he would have. He got to give me the the, the the degree. He pull it out. He'd be like, "Hey, I'm All clinically right. retired." All right, and I'll be like, "All right, maybe I'll give you a little leeway." Okay, I get where you're going with this, but the thing is, like, again, um, Chris Chan has. <laughs> has all of that like in in writing bro like he he was a mentally unstable he couldn't be in like regular school like he already had that before he ever been in locale even yeah, but from, you can't stop the, us the from making inception. fun of him the, I, then we I can't mean, make fun yeah. of anybody then boogie's up because he got jacked off by his dad like there's no Jack end to then we're just going to be sitting then veto is there's some for some reason we can't make fun of veto like where does this end we can't make yeah, fun of anybody guys i have a condition are you the government giving this nigga money bro he's clinic are, i mean you're, you're you're that's why i'm fat you're not allowed to make fun of me for it see you can't, can't give shit, people bro. a shield a 28 like year old that. woman raped me when i was yes, fucking yes, fuck out of here son this who's a millionaire son he has mad oh my god get so the fuck out of here so a million dollars opportunity through crypto, bro, then we can make fun of Christian. No, no, but it's different. No, it's different okay. because yeah. he, he ran a business or at least he was able to make something that no autistic person could legitimately just engage with. Um, so we're going to outlaw, like, hold on. We're going to outlaw Encyclopedia Dramatica. You've said that. Oof. Okay. Now are yeah, we banning? We fun. So are we saying Keffels can't have Christian on? No show should have Christian on. It is irresponsible no. to platform this person. Would you okay? Do you think? Do you, you think it's on? irresponsible in like a like a civil like just person to person sense? Do you think it should be like illegal? I think I think it's um like first off I started with being taboo like hard body. Do you Especially, think it should be? Like, do you think? Do you I think it should be illegal? Out, though? Because, Illegal, is great like, marketing to me, too. even with like elite legality, I don't prescribe morals to legal the legal system. I'm not like I'm not somebody who'd be like because it's illegal you shouldn't do it, or I'm not somebody who'd be like because it's illegal but, you shouldn't. But if like, it, if do, anything do, like that, so I don't think legal, anybody should. Okay. Not, yeah, I think we're all in agreement on that. Okay, all right. Everyone can determine their own moral code, uh, but you're saying if you were given the powers, let me say I made you judge, jury, and executioner of the entire world. Okay, the laws you want to implement are. If someone has autism or some sort of mental disability or trauma of some sort that makes them a little uh, not so, don't comment on them, don't highlight them, don't don't spotlight them. I mean, what you're asking for it seems it, it's crazy. Jesus, I don't, I don't wait, 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 know wait, wait. what you expect. Me. Don't question the statement, me. All right, don't question the statement, me. You you're gonna ask me a question. I'm the arbiter. At that point, the internet is still young. Okay. If if you You're are diagnosed with mental illness or like you actually not get as young paid, as Boogie's girlfriend. Anyway. <laughs> if, if you get paid and like your life is sustained by the government and the people around you are taking care of you, I think that there should be something in place. Like if you engage on the internet, just like children, some we have things in place to stop children from engaging in dangerous spaces. We should have something Wait, that stops do? people with mental kind of where. That little button that says, are you over 18? Click the button. Click the button. <laughs> I damn sure been not. Ryan's World kid for decades okay. now, man. Kids are more exploited I don't know if that ever. works, Vassal. Why I, am I, I loving it. endless okay. videos of kids opening cranimals or whatever the f But I can't put Chris Chan on to talk about his stupid Sonic comic? So you're Look, not you're talking asking, about... You are literally putting him off... Can you stop memeing back to the to the comments, son? No, we this can't. We can't stop memeing. Yeah, That's the point. I want to talk about Sonic exactly. no. and if the you comes up, the comes up. I mean, what do you want me to do? A guy I think who wears that, a Pikachu I medallion is wrong, and you're telling I me I can't question. find that funny. You're like, I, you I can't question. believe you would find it funny that I'm wearing a hand. Yeah, it wasn't my mom. I don't care. Do you even think of a reality? Vito, please, answer me this. Yeah. What I want you to do is answer me this. Would your outlook on Sonic, um, on Chris Chan and Chris all Chan. of the situation would be the same if the Sonic 2 comic didn't exist and the history of him being a locale didn't exist? Do you think you would have the same point of view it, about the situation? I mean, it's ask? less would funny if you're not value? wearing the medallion, but it's still kind of funny. You, It would be funny for Kefus to bring on Chris Chan for raping his mom. If he, if he, if he wasn't I think it would be Chris Chan. Okay, look, yes, obviously Chris Chan is an interesting figure. No, we don't need to. Every person <laughs> who commits a 
does not need time on YouTube to talk about it. But obviously, Chris Chan is an interesting figure, has been followed for years. And yeah, it's a matter of public curiosity. People are Wait, We watch serial curious. killer documentaries. I know more about but, Jeffrey Dahmer. This, Jeffrey Dahmer was insane. Even yeah. Does Netflix well, have a Sonic Show no, 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 series no. lined up? Jeffrey Dahmer was definitely mentally insane. Okay, and then he kidnapped a bunch of guys and killed them. And you're telling me, like, don't go to the jail and interview him because he's a victim because he was victimized or whatever else, right? What's the difference? Oh, man, it's so easy. Bro, I, I tried to bring up Boogie because I know both of us would sit there and laugh if he was in this situation. <laughs> Uh, like, no, but I, wait, honestly, let me say, are, there's a public I, interest in platforming now, sickos because it helps people learn to recognize identify sickos. Identify sickos, yes. Yeah, there's a, there is a public interest in getting the most sick, deranged, evil people, <laughs> giving them a platform, no, because then everyone can learn from it. Or maybe to be clear, problem. okay, the but can't tell the difference. Dick, Dick, if we're being honest, that's not, I mean, that's a very sort of sugar-coated, rosy way of seeing it. I think a lot of people just... Are like they just get off just like on watching it. people suffer. Yeah, I don't think it's that kind yeah. of. Yeah, I don't think it's like oh, I'm gonna use the but information. But it's satisfying though. Like women watch murder and they get off on it because of all these different things. And one of them I, is like I can maybe I can more identify sickos if I watch this. Like I, I mean, I that's I think that's I think that's what they think, but I don't think that's real. <laughs> I think that's their no, mental code. Hey, here's here's a here's a question, sick guy. This I'm curious. Okay, you all agree that like if you go to a heavy metal concert and there's a mosh pit or whatever in the middle, that that's an okay thing, right? Or do we think that's unethical, even though people maybe might get hurt, maybe not. Well, when you yeah, when you when fine. you enter the pit, Everyone you you basically sign a social pit. contract saying you yeah, yeah I agree, yeah, yeah. So there there are certain things that we can do where some people can get hurt, maybe maybe not. They kind of consent to it when they go. I think that the internet, because the internet exists, has elevated these platforms in ways that we never really even thought possible. So instead of just like mosh pits, we're getting like you're all familiar with the term like crowd crush. And when you look at like people sure. that are stuck in these huge crowds that end up getting crushed to death and killed, it's hard Shout to blame. Out any one individual for why somebody got killed and it's even a little bit hard to take accountability for the crowd like should the crowd be blamed um i think there just needs to be like more awareness right about like what's going on because it seems like a lost cause to try to because so, like what are the rules that are that are trying to be written here for um you know like for evil fossil like should the rule be you're not allowed to talk about law cows ever and then you might say well what you can talk about them but it's just that they're not that famous but then if you're talking about not famous then they become famous well did you commit an error there or like I, like i'm just curious what the rules are that any of you guys would write that are trying to say this shouldn't happen like what, what rule could you ever write here that would i would not write any rule i think right now it's pretty much perfect i don't i don't think i, I think evil fossil is arguing that doxing should be illegal uh for some reason encyclopedia dramatica should be illegal i'd like to focus on that like what what do you think what is wrong with encyclopedia dramatica like publishing the no, information I was... is i do have a problem okay. with the that's out there of christian because it's like it's, I, it's, it's like what do you man, what do you, you call it vigilantism but it's not even like it's like a it's it's a degenerate um it's like degenerate what do you call that with community police <laughs> it's like degenerate neighborhood watch that's encyclopedia dramatica bro my, my whole thing is just that but can, again, can people can people I'm, not I'm, post I'm, like i don't understand what is your particular you issue can, with I, I, yo i maybe i really did up, bro, and if we lose because of this, I'm sorry. I need that 500 <laughs> too, nigga. You're going against listen. free speech, Fossil. Dude, what I country mean, do you I think will listen. Listen. <laughs> don't want listen. to engage the fossil, 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 fossil. Listen, listen, like, listen, listen, listen. Ex if we do right, lose, yeah, if we do lose, there's one kind of apology you can give me, one kind of thing you can oh, give yeah, to right. me. I'm gonna need one pass for this stream. I'm just gonna need one pass for this stream. Oh my god, man. Okay, that guy to raise awareness. Not to raise awareness. Okay, okay, Turkey, you just threw because now people want to see you say the other one. Then you're gonna lose a pass. I'm gonna say it if I win. I'm gonna say it if I win. No, oh, you're saying it either way. If I lose, <laughs> if I if I lose, I'm saving it for a rainy day. If I win, I'm dropping it right here. Okay. No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no, no, no. Uh huh. If I bro, win, I'll say it twice. I was so there you Vito, go. bro. I was born in this too, bro. Yeah, I get it. So I, I would love to see people just. I, I I do engage in watching the dilapidation of people's minds too, bro. It's great. I think it's fun. Going back to two just, girls, one watch cup. You watch a bunch of poor Brazilian women get tricked into eating for money. It was fake. Desperate. It was fake. It, the video was fake. Oh, Regardless, that was fake. Uh, I'm lucky but I those know. women are never going to live it down, I'm sure. I'm sure in their home state, they're publicly humiliated. I'd be disappointed I mean, if it is... turned out Boogie was lying about getting jacked off of his dad, too. <laughs> 
the cornerstone of the internet is yes there's an element of public spectacle public humiliation we want to see public freakouts we want to Thanks, see Nico freaks. for the dono it is a freak show i will do it and, by the uh, way. I will look do it. sometimes it goes too far i think there are people who have been like ooh, and chris chan i'm gonna you know trick him into doing horrible things or like that guy who got tricked into eating his own shit. there's like a bunch of stories like that where you go guys uh, don't go that far uh, but I do think that uh, Evil Fossil has thrown this round by being like, and never talk about them ever. And it's like, oh, bro, that, bro, stop doing it. It's not a, like I said, there should what? be some lo, some there sort of some... acknowledgement of someone's mental state right. if they got a when documentation. When you establish for, the chart, they of clinically how much... are they're clinically assigned a mental like like bro we don't put them in a public school because they could trip out and because a public school is too stressful <laughs> for an autistic kid so why would we put them on a public internet it's the same like you yeah, literally yeah. have a, a special bus we are voting on the final poll good luck guys oh, make shit. your case people make your case why do you think <sighs> you should be the winner go there ahead. we go uh, well i don't think that we should have to care around. about christian or his mom <laughs> uh <laughs> Uh, I think, I think uh, if you really Fossil, have you mom. sent Chris Chan's mom a, a, an I'm sorry card or a sorry you got or something like that? You're up here pretending <laughs> to be better than us, but have you really done anything? No, I doubt it. As we can all agree, we can all agree that uh, pursuing, you know, minors, uh, underage women is uh, is atrocious, horrible, and no one should be doing it. We're all trying to stop it, but we should get as close to 18 as possible, right? I just want to say everyone on this panel, I'm sure, can agree with that, right? Dick, why are you trying to throw the round at the last time? <laughs> Shut up about the kids. <laughs> Running this poll for one more minute is very close. Poll of you. Uh, oh my God. This is oh the legendary God. N word poll. Huh. Yeah, it's the N word poll. I already said it, and I didn't even hold the audience hostage. Watch Kicker Coop episode. What was it, 26? Well, that's that. Come on, son. You acting like that. You can try and take my power from me, bro. Let me get uh, on. No, I would, never, I would never take a black man's power. I respect you too Thank much, you. Evil Fossil. Thank you. Look, regardless of who too. wins, uh, I think an autistic guy in a Pikachu medallion raping he his is. mom. Kind of funny. Thank you, Jed, for the dono. No. Wait, is it a seconds. close one? Let, let's see if it's a close one. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the poll to run out, or I'm waiting for the time to go. 20 seconds, okay? It's very close. Where it is Christian is, now? Dude, we even answered the question. Get to voting now, ladies and gentlemen. Get to voting. Was it yeah, the did Kevin address the trans stuff either? Persecuted. Uh, what y'all do with the Keffels? All right, I'm just listen, saying. guys. I'm trying. All four of you fought hard. I'm proud of all of you. Okay. Oh, Congratulations, shit. guys. But unfortunately, <laughs> Evil Fossil and Turkey Tom, you guys have lost. I'm so sorry. No. Oh! Oh my He's God! Scared. Stop it, yes, baby! Oh, we all win. Shit. We get an N word oh, pass. Sorry. Tom, you win. We win. You get an N word pass. You get an N word pass. Wins. <laughs> Say it together. Oh, okay. God. So you know, everybody. N words hey, across break, America. Break, I'm actually okay with this result. I'm actually okay with this, and and there's a reason why. You know, me and Vito have had a lot of disagreements over time. We really have. We've argued a lot. We've had a lot of beef. Would you agree, Vito? We we've gone back and forth. Okay. Have we? Yeah, sure. We have a little bit. And I think you really gave your all. I typed this up on a notepad so you can tell how important this is. You typed up on it. You got all stay. Listen, Vito, you, get, you gave your all on this stream. You really did. And I, and I know you have a lot of problems, okay? There's a lot. Thank you're you. fat. You're gay. Yep. You're on Ozempic. That's not a problem. Your mom had sex with me. <laughs> oh, shit. But no matter what happens, Vito, you'll always be my... I, I think that every white person should just say it. <laughs> well, we do. <laughs> what the? Oh, bro. Bro. It did it. Respect. You're saying it. Holy oh, shit. Respect. Well, respect for actual saying it, though. What the f you I ended your edging streak. I'm sorry about that. It was a pretty nice being here. I enjoyed um, the conversations. And even though I didn't expect to have that a moral goon ass motherfucker on my team, he did pretty good. I, I like <laughs> that. Guys. And be sure to become a member. For $5 a month, they get the members only podcasts and exclusive videos that only members get. Thanks so much for your support. Yeah.